know what you gotta do. <laughs> what do I gotta do? Bring him to me. No. Uh, <laughs> what? <laughs> what? <laughs> what? <laughs> no! It's what I wanted! Oh my god! It's what I wanted! Hello, dear friend. Welcome back. The Rift Seekers find themselves in quite a predicament. While traveling through the Rust Yard, trying to find the Sinners of Absolution, they disturb the local creatures insectoids that feast on the rusting metal within the area. The party now faces a dilemma. Risk further danger and run deeper into the rust yard, or turn and flee, effectively abandoning their quest. What will they do now? That I one see. fucker from Pennsylvania. <laughs> He's in the walls. <laughs> Remember yeah, to do you, Rhode Island. Remember to do your laundry. It's been two weeks. Yeah. yeah. yeah I'm pretty sure you left wet clothes in the fucking washer too. And did you fold last week's as well? Mildew. Mm -hmm. Turn that yeah, mildew into you. will do. <laughs> and I hate you, Andrew. <laughs> the way that you said that and then the piano. Oh. <laughs> it's so good. <laughs> New reaction image. See. New reaction image. New reaction image. <laughs> Send it to me. I got, I I got you. Power. I got you. <laughs> what a wonderful <laughs> Hold on, hold on, hold on. Be our first hold, on hold on. Okay, 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 okay. <sighs> All of you have entered the rift yard. Uh, Mike and Macau's older sister leading the group. Um, as you guys enter the rift yard, um, Dara and Mike, in, uh, both the front and the back person, um, accidentally uh, alerted the bugs or the insects in the rust yard. And now they are just about to swarm all of you. You see them crawling out of like piles of old rusty metal, uh, cresting over the tops of like these mounds of metal and just like, just crawling out of everywhere. You just hear um, So as you see like these, uh, they're almost like termite or ant-like creatures about the size of a small dog. Um, all just like looking at you with these big black eyes. Um, it just goes silent for a second before like on like all your, you just hear the breathing of the group around you before Mike and like turns around and just goes, run! <laughs> and she just, is takes going off further, further in? into the rust yard. Oh, yeah, sure, that's a reasonable decision. We'd be like, what, what are you 10 guys? feet from the fucking entrance? As, yeah. <laughs> so, she, um, yeah, well, uh, you guys traveled a little bit further into the, the rust yard before we like you failed. There. Yeah. Um, so she takes off running, and after that, all the insects start to move as well. What are you guys doing? You can either stand off for a fight, or follow Mike in, or turn tail and run. You got three options. Uh, follow Mike in? Or the storm? That, I was like, that was my first instinct. Follow? follow. Yeah, 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 sure, yeah, we can we try. Yeah, we don't gotta be stolen! I'll Just take run the fuck and run! Eminem, zoom in. <laughs> all right, so. Uh, all of you are following Mike, and this is now a uh, chase. So, um. What? <laughs> no, be dizzy. So, um, all of you, uh, it'll be essentially the same as like initiative. You guys go first, and then the insects. Um, 
all of you guys can use uh, your dashes up to a maximum of, I think, three plus your constitution modifier. Let me look at the list to make sure. And that's six times per round? Yes. Yeah, so, okay. I was like, I, I remember something it being per round, not yes. in total. Uh, during the chase, a participant can freely use the dash action a number of times equal to three plus its constitution modifier. Each additional dash action it takes during the chase requires the creature to succeed a DC 10 constitution check at the end of its turn or gain one level of exhaustion. Right, oh, and that's why okay. you don't want to use all of So, the if you don't use the dash, you can use a regular action to make an attack or cast a spell uh, against other creatures within range. Uh, apply the normal rules for cover terrain and so on. Um... There can be opportunity attacks, it's just not common in chases, because um, everyone's usually traveling in the same direction. Um, so yeah, okay. So all of you guys are taken off then with Mikan? Mm-hmm. Yes. All right, so um, it is your group's turn. So what are you doing during this action? Uh, you have a swarm of these bugs now behind you. As you guys are running, they before you started running, they all like stopped and look at you. But the moment Mike and takes off, all of them instantly react and just crawling as fast as they can towards you. And they're they're pretty fast. Um, and after all of you start taking off, um, they just start coming out of everywhere from beside you. Um, more and more keep like piling on top of each other. It's just like a herd or a horde of these insects just now swarming you. It's like delightful. This is mm-hmm. the, the mental imagery is so cool. Mm-hmm. They're so cool. Ugh! I hate right. it, but it's so cool. So, it is your guys' turn. New? New. Fucking new? New. Yes. Fucking new. Fucking new. Okay. Everyone keeps running following Mikan. Mikan is going to continue to run. Um, and she just like turns around to see all of you like following her. Um, and she like beckons you to continue following her. Uh, she turns around. She like takes a hard right and travels through like this really rough patch of jagged metal and you can see her like parkour over all of it and just easily making it through. Uh, If you guys are gonna continue following her path, um, you need to make a athletics or acrobatics check. I'll go athletics. I'll die. Fine guys. Mm -hmm. Oh wait, I got athletics a little bit. I'll go athletics. Misty step. Fuck it. <laughs> oh, Easy. Yeah, bitch. Oh, uh, that's 18 plus 6 yeah, mama. for acrobatics. Succeed. Oh, 20. Succeed. Uh, 17. Succeed. Okay. Damn, so, let's go. Um, let's all do. of you follow go, Mikan's go. footsteps. Uh, Macau, it's pretty easy for you. Um, being raised in ditch, you are parkouring over all of this. Um, Dara and Ornan, you guys as well, are able to hop over or run through this jagged part, whereas Mirage just kind of... And yeah. just, um, you kind of land like right beside Mike and who like uh, is disturbed for a second seeing you. Um, and she kind of like takes a step over before like continue running. Just um, like a, huh. Oh my God. Like, oh fuck. <laughs> You're like, I was sidled. Fuck. Yeah. So deadly. I was sidled. <laughs> <laughs> you, you know what I'm talking about. I was sidled. I would like to cast a cantrip. Okay, oh. sure. I want to use Druidcraft to make a sound. Oh? Okay. Um, yeah, bitch. Just to yeah. know, after you guys cross over this patch, um, if you are going to use that as an action, you don't dash or you are going to be behind the group. I know. Okay, cool. Do you know? That's fine. I'll I'm just making sure that. you're yeah. aware of that. Okay, cool. So everyone <laughs> continues running. You stop in your tracks and you turn around and cast Druidcraft. What are you trying to do exactly? I want to make a noise... 30 feet as far the fuck away as I can mm-hmm. in an opposite direction of just like metal clanging together before I continue running to see it's if I can distract the them. Okay. Um, most of these, actually, here, we'll do this. God, I wish I had. Okay, so after oh. you guys kind of like clear this patch of metal, um, you see most of these insects kind of like go through, but a lot of them stop before like spreading out and kind of disperse and taking a different path to follow you. Some of them get through, but not many. Um, okay, so we will also roll to see. <laughs> wow, okay, so. 
Um, there's maybe about three that uh, get through this patch of metal um, and they will uh, attack you on their turn. But as you cast Druid Craft, um, you see a couple like crest over this mound that's near you. And then you just hear ping, 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 ping. And all of them just go and just immediately take off yeah, in that direction away from you. Sweet. Well done. Um, okay, so it is going to be the Anne's turn. Um, they are going to take an attack at miss, you. Miss, 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 yeah. miss, Let miss, me miss, pull up their miss, stats. Miss, 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 yeah. miss, yeah. miss, right. miss, 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 miss. First one, that's cost. Miss, miss, First one miss, miss, is a 21 to hit. Yeah. Miss, Second miss, one does miss, not hit. Miss, yeah. Miss, uh, miss, other one is going to be a 15 to hit. No, God, no. Okay. Yes, go, so, uh, the three of them kind of like, uh, skitter up towards you and like try to flank you and the first one immediately like crawls up to you and takes like a leaping bite and you're gonna take five points of piercing damage. Okay. Um, the other two try to like flank you and attack you, uh, but both of them like miss you as you like jump and you're able to like dodge out of the way of them. Uh, okay, it is your turn. What are you guys doing? Oh, well, you guys hold up. Daryl, what are you doing since you are in the back of the pack? You'll go first. Yeah. I'm thinking. I'm thinking I'm hosed. Shield of faith yourself and fucking book it. That's gonna be an action cantrip. Yeah. Uh-huh. And I'm real low. Well, that's a bonus action. Actually. I was like, it is. I'm low on spell slots, but that's gonna be worth it. Yeah, no, I am going to cast Shield of Faith upon myself. Yes. Mm-hmm. But bump up my AC to 21, and then yes. I'm gonna take a full action to dash. Okay, um, they will take a, an attack of opportunity against you, but that will be their, um, oh, that's their reaction, so they can't do that. Up and I have two spell slots left. Yeah. That's fine! Miss, I can bonk real miss, quick. One second and one first. Miss. Yes! All, all three of them miss yes! as you start running away from them. Um, they will Darryl. pursue you, uh, but that'll be it for them. Uh, okay, the rest of you guys, are you continuing to follow Mike in? As she is heading deeper into the rest yard. Okay. <laughs> so, Mike continues to run uh, through the rust yard until you guys come upon this, like, very narrow path between two very large mounds of rust. As she continues on, and you guys in pursuit, um... From like the sides of this mound, smaller versions of these bugs start crawling out yeah. and immediately swarm you. Fuck yeah, um, let's go. So uh, as good. you guys are so crawling good. through no, or running through, they are all gonna make an opportunity to get attack against each one of you. Fail, 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 uh, fail, Ornan, fail, that is fail, a nineteen. Fail, fail. Fuck Macau, you. Fail. That is a twelve. No. And Mirage. Fail. fail. That is a 15. <gasps> Didn't you cast Mage Armor? Yeah, I'm, sure. I'm at 14 with it. Damn. Oh. Yeah. Okay. It's a plus two, isn't it? So. The plus three, oh. but. You have Vesper's, <sighs> you have Vesper's AC. Yeah. yeah. Eight. Yeah, no cigar. 10. Both of you take 10 points of piercing damage oh, as fine. these things start crawling There's all over you and just start oh, biting you. Um, they each do one point of damage. Yeah, the little guys do more damage than the big boy. It's because there's, there's a swarm of them. Yeah, no, I, I know. <laughs> so many yeah. go, ah, 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 ah. Um, I'm like, cut, cut. Okay, but yeah, um, Mikhail, you are able to kind of like brush all of them off and continue moving forward while the rest of your party is getting uh, swarmed by these insects being bitten all over. Uh, every time they bite you, you don't feel like one bite. It's almost like they're drilling into your skin. So it's like this really piercing, uh, almost like uh, multiple needles just into oh, your skin. The life of fuck yeah. um, It's giving Jane Prentice. Hey, stop. Okay. Yeah. You, are you guys continuing on yeah. running through? Yeah. Okay. I'll use my sorcery points to yeah. get my level two back. I'm still back behind, yeah. but yeah. Dara, so, this yeah. is not an action, but go ahead and make a perception check to see if you can uh, continue following your allies who have been zigzagging through the rest yard. Uh, I'm going to say uh, no. It's a six. No, sorry, seven. Okay. No. Uh, Wait. Sorry, that Perception. is a ten. Okay, because <laughs> ten was the DC I said. Because of Gawain. It's the only reason. <gasps> Yo. Gawain scouting ahead. Let's go. 
Let's I can swap go. my perception with his. Let's go. Ooh. Okay. Yeah. So. Okay. How, how would that look? Is Gawain following the party and you're yeah, kind of following be, him? Yeah, he'd be following Okay, him. so yeah, you're at this point just following Gawain, which would lead you back to this this uh, very narrow pathway between the two mounds, and you see the rest of your party booking it out. Are you going to continue following them? Yeah. Okay. Um, at this point in time, uh, you Stuck would see the swarm of like insects kind of like moving about like the sides. So it looks like the metal itself is like moving. Yeah, bitch. Yeah. <laughs> I wish I could do about it. It's a 21 to hit? Yeah. That was a 20. You see it's that. <laughs> no, it was a 20. Oh. Yeah, oh, there's one God. behind his DC. Yeah. Okay. You it's make it through without thunder. the insects uh, biting you. Okay. You are still behind the group quite a ways, but you will continue following them if you continue dashing. Uh, the three insects are still following you, though. Um, you can see um, different like mounds of metal where the creatures are like looking around trying to find the rest of your party. Um, okay, Mikan continues on. Uh, as she does, she begins like running through this much larger pathway now, um, but she takes a step and from right beside her, you see a snare, uh, oops, a snare that's activating you here. And she's almost pulled up, but is able to dodge out of the way. Oh and she kind of like looks around eyes wide um, as you see more swarms of these insects like coming in closer and closer. And she just looks to you all and just says, there's leftover traps, be careful! There's and fucking traps! It's from the Rust Runners! And she just keeps on running. Who thought of this shit? Um, <laughs> okay, so are you guys gonna continue on this path? Yeah. Are you gonna... I don't know of any other path. Yeah, yeah, I don't know of any other path. You're like, no time to think, just. I just yeah. yeah. Okay. Like, there's yeah. no time to like try to find another path. Do they fly? Yeah. The insects? Yeah. No, they're like, they're like ants. Okay. Slash termites. Does it go up? Huh? Does the trap take you up? Yeah. Huh. Mm. Okay. So. Uh oh. If you guys are continuing on this path as you are continuing running, I need all of you to make a dexterity saving throw. I'm still like 30 feet behind, aren't I? Yes. So you would see all this happening. Cool. Uh, I'll give you, I know what, I'll give you advantage because you are seeing this happen. Um, you would take extra precaution going through. And most of the traps might actually be activated as they run through. What saving throw was it? Yeah, I'm glad. Yes. Okay, okay, 18. Pass. Pass. Second that, 18. Pass, pass. A surgically modified 20. All of you pass. <laughs> you guys continue running through this natural. land, like landmine uh, field, minefield, oh my God. Of, thank you, of traps. Uh, as you are like stepping, um, you see like these ropes that are covered in like dirt or dust or you know, even covered partially by like metal. And as you guys continue running, uh, one by one just snares and different traps just uh, but all of you are able to expertly dodge out of the way of all of them. Um, as you continue running, uh, you would see uh, Mikan, who has found almost like a small like entrance to a cave inside one of the mounds of metal. And as you are like continuing running, whoever's in the front of the pack, uh, you just see a hand like shoot out and grab you and just pull you down and like drag you in. Um, and the rest of you would see this, and then Mike and like sticks her head out and just, just shh, come on. Yeah. Yeah. Very good. I'll go in. Okay. As quickly as I can, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. if I'm not going to cause them danger by being as far back as I am. There are still a few ants fall or creatures insects. Are they like directly in my you. ass? Uh, the three, yes. So you can try to like run in there. That's a terrible idea. It's up to you. Actually, actually, hold on, hold on. The ants have to run through this. Yeah, they're <laughs> yeah. Field. Field, dude. Uh, one of them saves. Ding, ding, Damn ding. it. That's cocked. That one fails. Good. Good. That one fails. Good. Okay, so as these three are still like on your ass, you just hear. <laughs> 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 uh, with one of them still chasing after you. <laughs> so there's currently only one on your ass. 
That's a significant, more reasonable number. Mm -hmm. <laughs> mano y mano. Uh, for those of you who went into the cave, I need all of you to make uh, stealth checks. Uh, how tough can that be? Am I right? Or am I, am I right? Okay. Ten. Eighteen. All of you would have an advantage. Sorry. What are you doing? Eighteen. I'm going to sacrifice another dash, and I'm going to hit it with the stun baton. Okay. Because it's up my ass. Very good. So, what are your... Eighteen. Oh. Passes. 19. Fuck. Me. Passes. Actually, it's gonna be, be it's gonna be roll. perception check against them. So I don't know if any of that. The amount of money they would pay to be able to hit vaguely better. Pass. <gasps> okay. <gasps> so you're hitting you with the stun ton. Go ahead and make an attack against it. Yeah, I did. It's a 14 to hit. That's exactly what you need. Thank God. I was staring at the ten like, ah, uh, that's not a lot. So yeah, uh, it is stunned for one round. Okay, very good. And if you dash, you can make it into the yeah. little hole that all of them yeah, round to. That. Okay, go ahead and make a stealth check. You have to be an 11. Do you have advantage? You have advantage. So you mean I roll normally? Oh. And that was a fail. <laughs> okay. That was a seven in total. Okay. She oh, talent. Oh my God! Yes. Yeah. You lose your features. <laughs> you have it written down. Where's the piece of paper? There you go. <laughs> there you go. Restore balance. Come Restore on. Balance. Exhibit A. <laughs> what do? Not get rid of uh, disadvantage. I gotta so get rid of something's advantage or your disadvantage. Oh no. Please. I went from an eight. Oh no. To a two. I'm gonna die. So no. No, uh, that, that, that's, a, that's a fail. Thank you. And I don't have the inspiration anymore, so yeah, that's it. Does anyone have tape? Am I able to tell that I made a shit ton of noise? Huh? Am I able to tell that I made a shit ton of noise? Sure, yeah. Yeah. As you like start clambering into this, you are just making a ton of noise. And as you uh, are like the last person in and trying to rush into this like hole, which you have to like kind of like crawl into, um, you kind of like slide in the side of metal, which ball. goes like flying and just ping, ching, 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 ching. I'm going to just turn around and go back out. Okay. I'm going to pull out my shield, wrap my metal, old metal mace on it, and just start running. Okay. Um, which direction are you going? You can either run, um, we'll say farther north, which could okay. lead you to an exit, or you can go back. I'm gonna go north. Okay. Where the fuck are you going? <laughs> yeah, so you see Dara like slide and just, hit the side of this hole, metal goes flying, and he just turns, looks at you, straps his mace to his shield, get back up, and he continues running. What are the rest of you doing? You are safe in this hole. They do not know you're here. Something stupid than thinking about doing the same thing. Don't you fucking dare, we're safe here. Don't split these threads, my friend. And also healer. But more so, my friend. For once in your life, do the smart thing and stay the fuck put. Fuck you, and I run out. I'm, I'm the gonna... healer, dumbass. I can heal myself. <laughs> I'm, gonna, I'm gonna follow Sue as soon as. What are you? <laughs> <laughs> they don't look at me like that. <laughs> I follow them. <laughs> Hey, fuck! Back in the Jeff. I can slow down. I'm going to fucking. If I die here and she scrambles out after you, you won't. Okay. So, Derek continues running, and what are the rest of you doing? 
<laughs> I'm not trying to. I had a plan. So how many are chasing is this? Uh, it'll be one now. Um, you have one in pursuit wall. There's a whole bunch. You hear them like skittering off in the like near distance, mm-hmm. but only one knows of your presence currently. I had a goddamn plan, guys. Um, you could have said something. Uh, okay, we'll say one currently is like oh, is aware of you now, but with the sound that Dara made, you hear more coming in your direction. Didn't you pan, pan, mm-hmm. pan, start running? Yeah. Yeah. Mm. <sighs> if I uh, ray of frost the one that's on you together? to at least slow it down. You can. Yeah. I was gonna cast a uh, fog cloud where you guys were behind me as well. 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 This is why we communicate, Dara. <laughs> this is why we talk. <laughs> oh my <we> have plans. <laughs> this is why we talk. Oh no! It's all good. It's my drama! I will still do it. What are you doing? I am going to turn around and I'm going to cast Fog Cloud at second level. Okay. So it's 60 foot radius. It's fucking big. Okay. Let me double check the radius here. Sorry, 40 foot radius. Off by. Jesus. Yeah, still big. Yeah, that's huge. I want to center it because the range is fucking massive. I want to center it back where we were. Okay. So that way we can, obs- I wanted to obscure the cave. Mm-hmm. And at this point, it'll just be obscuring literally all of yeah, us. Yeah, yeah. Okay. And then I just want to keep running. And I'm going to stop making any loud noises at that point. Okay. So fog cloud has been casted over all you guys, which means I believe your vision is heavily obscured now. Yes. Which means anything else has their vision heavily obscured. So, Dara, you you wouldn't see where Dara exactly continued running off. You just assume that he keeps running. So, fog cloud is casted over all of you. What are you guys doing, Mikhail? You are leading the charge. I just, uh, uh, okay, sure. I'm I'm looking looking for Dara. You just continuing. Okay. Listen, the, from wherever the 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 final pang came from, I'm like. You were bashing on your shield. Yeah, yeah. he didn't strap the mace to it. He was rapping. He was beating. Oh, the shit rapping! Out of oh, 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 my God! Okay, I get it now. Sorry. I understand. Okay. Mm-hmm. So. Yeah. No, I went out there to make a. Understood. Okay, so at that, then yes, the swarm would now be like converging on this point where the sound was. So, Mikhail, you're running. Mirage, Ornan. Following like footsteps or tracks in the yard. Okay, so since I was the last one through, I'm just gonna like take a few steps back and then just prepare a ray of frost. Yeah. Just if anything comes through, and I was gonna say I would probably slow my pace a little bit to kind of keep like in line yeah. with you to make sure that you don't get lost. Yeah. Sure, that one ant that was following Dara would still be in pursuit of all of you. That would be the only one that you can see currently in the fog cloud because it is pretty close to you guys. So are you trying to crash Ray of Frost in that thing? Yeah, I never rolled damage on that thing. You did not. <laughs> Do you want to? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> no, actually, I'm a- Damage is great. It just crossed my mind. I was like, oh. Six, bludgeoning. Okay, very good. Not bad. All right, um, you can go ahead and do attack with Ray of Frost. Warner, are you trying to attack this thing too? This will be your action, so you're not gonna be running. Fucking punch him. Okay, go ahead and we'll, we'll do attack. Bro, my, my weapons are metal. Yeah, welcome to the party. You're. So, okay, you roll with disadvantage then. What? They probably don't take bludgeoning damage or anything? I don't know. I mean, that's not. No? A, <laughs> that, that would not be, it's because it's heavily obscured. Uh, no. No. Because that one's not rolling with disadvantage. Oh, it's because you're not using your weapon. Oh, it is heavily obscured and it is ranged, so you would be rolling with disadvantage. Because it's a ranged spell attack, yeah. You are correct. Restore balance. <laughs> There you go. <laughs> Easy. Okay. There you go. So 21. To hit. <laughs> yeah, that hits. Cool. It's a third bubble. Well, I should be able to get it soon. 
Did you roll a disadvantage? Six, yes. Okay. <laughs> Doesn't hit. Okay, so it's not about the damage. It's about slowing them down. <laughs> two. <laughs> hey! Two we're cold. two bodies! Hey. Okay. Hell yeah. yeah bro. <laughs> um, so you definitely hit it with the Ray's Frost, and you see like all of its body kind of like frost over for a bit, um, and it seems to be slowed down. Okay. Cool. So that is your action. So uh, Mikan is also staying behind because she was technically the last one after you. Uh, I got to pull up her stats, but she is definitely going to throw three attacks at this thing. She is going to throw three unarmed strikes at this thing. Hits. Yeah, cocked. Jesus, doesn't hit. Definitely hits. Um, okay, it's not looking good. Um, actually, in fact, uh, we're gonna make a... Oh, okay, it's gonna stay to, to attack. Um, so, Mikan, Ornan, and Mirage stays behind while Macau and Dara continue using their dashes to run as far as they can. Um, okay, you guys are still in this fog cloud. Um, you hear many, many, many of these insects about to swarm you. Um, you kind of hear some of them come into the fog cloud. Um, again, it's heavily obscured, so they're not going to see you initially. Um, you do have the chance to try to stealth and run back into that hole, or you can continue running and try to outrun these creatures, which are gonna be on your ass real soon. Yeah, I'm too far ahead. I'm gonna keep running. Yeah, you are... Uh, what's your constitution modifier? Modifier? Why? Yeah. So that's four dashes. Speed is 30. Mm -hmm. So 60 times four. Yeah, you run 240 feet. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And you're... I'm at 40. 40. Yeah. So I, you could, you could either surpass him or run with him. <laughs> Catch up. Yeah, try to that makes sense. Back. Oh, I'll, I'll catch up. Well, okay, Mike in pipes up and goes, I either hide or let's fucking go. What are we doing? Fuck it, hide, I guess. But they're too far gone. They're, he had the plan, we fucked it up. Let's just. We can hide. Okay. Can find them and she later. like yeah, grabs you the both universe. by the shoulder and just kind of like tries to push you towards the hole. Just stay. Cover this fucking thing with the metal and then oh. stay fucking put. And she takes off running. Oh shit. Love my sister. <laughs> <laughs> just move some metal in the yeah. part of it. Just... Go ahead and uh, roll stealth check with advantage. Both of you. Like, oh. You have to surpass a 10. 22. Not Good. 20. Oh, easy. Yay. Okay. Beautiful. You are. I, I rolled an 18 and was like, I don't need the advantage of the world to get a win. <laughs> 19 and I win. Okay. You guys cover yourself in this hole. It is uh, pitch black unless you have dark vision. Um, and all you hear outside is just the screeching sounds of these creatures followed by. You hear metal creaking above you as they're like climbing over this mound. Um, they seem just to swarm this entire place. Um, it is just the sounds of these uh, chitinous creatures crawling around and them like skittering about. That's all you hear. It is almost, the sound is almost like deafening of how many of these things are just swarming this area. Um, after a while, though, they will start to, like, disperse as they will continue following whatever noise is being made. Um, okay, so Mike is going to use her turn to continue running, and she is catching up to you guys. So on her next turn, she'll probably be within 30 feet of you guys, at least. Um... So, you guys continue running. Um, you hear the swarm of these creatures gaining on you. Um, but you are in the rust yards. There are many different mounds of metal. There are... Um, it, it can be like a labyrinth if you want it to be. So, if you want to try to escape these creatures, that is a possibility. Um, if so, you can try to... Um, make a stealth check. Um, but your quarry is still... 
behind you, um, or your pursuer, sorry. Um, so you would have disadvantage, um, but you can still try. Um, or if you want to, you can make a survival check to see where you can go to try to escape these creatures and then follow that up by a stealth check. So I'm fucked. Yeah. Because if I cast Guidance, I end Fog Cloud. You can mm. also attempt to stand and fight if you want to. Yeah, that's a that's brilliant good. idea. I don't see this going wrong at all. I'm like just I, giving you options. I, <laughs> like I could. You could only try. But I know what would happen. Mm. I would become bug. It's great for fishing. Not. That's not relevant. Wrong game. Wrong game. Um, I don't know. What are you thinking? I'll... I'm gonna survival check and then try to stealth. I will join you on because that. Because I have a decent survival. My stealth is dog shit. If I can literally help you be stealthy in any way possible, I will, I will hold your fucking armor. I will hug the fuck out of you and keep your armor from moving. You just, you just backpack Dara. Just I do. I'm just holding your armor in place. Like, shh, shh, shh. Okay. So, what mm-hmm. are you guys doing? Uh, survival. All right. I have a fucking weapon to do so. To find a place to escape and then... Yeah. I was... Yeah, if there's literally anything, I can help him. Okay. It's quiet. Go I ahead. will. Is Ambrose just Survival's in the a cave? 15? No. Ambrose is not with you guys. What? Not with those two. That's all I'll say. Fuck. God damn it, Ambrose. Well, what the fuck? I just look at you in the cave. I'm like, what the fuck is Ambrose? He cast oh. invisibility and he's just chilling and looking at all of us being fucking stupid. <laughs> and he's like, oh my god. Hey, do you guys remember that fact that he does actually have that ability? Yeah. That's what or I was saying. Had. He also has Pass Without is it Trace. Had? That Pass Without Trace, was that had? I, no, he has. Mm, that was when he still had the Vesiculum. That's what I thought. I thought that was a had. For Pass Without Trace? Yeah. So, but he still has the ability uh, to you... invisibility, doesn't he? You can assume that he might because he's still connected to the entity that is John. Um, However, the Vesiculum did kind of his corruption, which was also a part of John. Yeah. So there's a chance that he could, a chance that he can't. Where is my tailor? (laughs) Where is he? Where's my handler? (laughs) Just back in the cave. Do you know where the fuck Ambrose is? Oh, God, I have no idea. Was, was it? Was he even here when we entered the rust yard? Like, he hasn't really said much. What the fuck? Um, so sixteen oh, for survival. Oh, okay. Oh, are we God, just I fucking dumb? I hope he's not there. Oh God, I hope they're all together. There. Survival. Oh, it was fifteen. Okay, that is enough for both of you, um, as a group, to find. Um, a place to hide. So, as you guys continue running, uh, you would find there are like four piles of metal, um, and then inside is kind of like hollowed out, and there's an area where you can kind of like dive into it and be surrounded um, by all this like rusted metal that obscures your view from everything else. All right. Yeah. So that would be what you would see like the greatest place to hide as of right now. Yeah, let's try and hide there. Well, Best there, idea. If, is there any way that I can help him to not make so much fucking noise? I am not kidding about backpacking him and holding his armor in place. So it it's like, not. It's chain mail. I know, but if I hold it, it won't. Shuka, 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 shuka. That's it'll, not how chain mail just, works. It won't move as much. I. <laughs> Or, or could I pick up a big fucking piece of metal and chuck it as far as possible? Sure, yes, yeah, that really you can hundred percent do that. <laughs> That's less goofy. Uh, sure, uh, Dara, you can make a stealth check. You can make a, we'll say a dexterity check to what see how. Just waste. regular dex check. Mm-hmm. <laughs> That's Whoa. a seven. You are so lucky. 
Well, it was a nat 20. It like slips out of my hand. But of course, disadvantage dictates that I was in total a 10. You are also very lucky. Yeah! With the help of Macau, um, <laughs> these, um, as you guys kind of like dive into this hollowed out pile, um, you you still make quite a bit of noise as you kind of like dive yeah. in your chain mail kind of going all over the place um being the big bear of a man that you are um you are making just so much noise and as Macau kind of like dives over uh picks up a piece of or a chunk of metal or something tosses it out um you hear it land and just a whole hill of this like metal just comes crumbling down and you hear the skittering of these this swarm of insects um, move away. Um, just seconds after that, um, Mike and like hops the hops over and just like kneels down um, beside both of you, just huffing and puffing. Just hey, <laughs> shut up, please. Just keep your heads down for like a couple minutes. Wait till this blows over. This is kind of fucking sick, though. I hate this. <laughs> Okay. You fucking skills for days. Moments later, um, phew, Ambrose appears beside you guys. Fucking what? Oh. I really uh, thought I was gonna have to use something else to help you all, but I'm glad I didn't. Where the fuck have you been? What? Where the fuck have you been? I was quieter than the rest of you. Invisibility. Anyways, I think we're safe here for a bit. Okay. All right. So. A bug. You okay? It's dead as fuck now. I flicked, I flicked the guts out of it. It's dead Ew. somewhere. <laughs> somewhere on this table. I flicked it so hard. Like, I literally just. <laughs> <laughs> God's hand reach out and went. Have you ever God. seen God? No. What would you like to? <laughs> <laughs> All right, so you guys are now out of chase. Instead of all dogs go to heaven, do all bugs go to heaven? (laughs) Every single one. No, all bugs go to hell. Sorry, folks. Sorry, folks. Infestation doesn't sound like paradise. No. No. There's like trillions of bugs already on the planet. They don't need to all go to heaven. Yeah, they could have their own. Yeah, they can go somewhere else. To get out their own heaven. They can go roast in hell. Does heaven have like circles of heaven like hell does? I've heard no, but maybe. Because I know they have a whole hierarchy. Mm-hmm. Right. Or like every dead bug like becomes part of one gigabug. And that resides in hell. Gigabug. They'll just it's melt delicious. into one Akira bug. That makes more sense, honestly. I'll allow yeah. it. Yeah. And then they can disperse at will. And then, you know, plague fun. God, it wasn't mine. Okay. All of you guys are out of the chase sequence. <sighs> Currently, you are split between Ornan Mirage and Dara, Macau, Ambrose, and Mikan. After a few minutes, the skittering of all these creatures would stop in both places, and they would kind of go back to their own places. And it is silent once again in the rust yard. Yeah. Okay, so do we, um, uh, going back for, um, uh, the thoughts? Or what's the move? You stay put. I'll go back and get them. Okay, can't come. Talk 
to him, please. I've still got the fog cloud back up. If you look back there, do you want me to keep it? You want to go and just keep it up? I'll be I back. Talk to me about what? Stay. I already know about the birds and the bees. I don't know what the fuck they can talk to me about. She just hops over, and you Maya. hear her like stealthily, just like start running. Maya, I love you. Okay. <laughs> You two are related, aren't you? Yeah. Yeah, I can tell that. Yeah, so that's my sister. So. Yeah. Just yeah, no, I don't think that could have been much more obvious. Now you see where I get that from. She's kind of a bitch. Yeah! <laughs> yeah. What you gonna do? A few minutes would pass. Um, before the metal covering the entrance of your guys' like little hidey hole, just and like light kind of fills the area, or as much light as Ditch would have. Mm. Um, and peering through is the gray tiefling, correct? Mikan is gray. Yes. Yeah, the gray <laughs> tiefling, Mikan, who kind of like peers. What color is her eyes? Uh, similar kind of purplish pink to Macau's, okay. except a little bit more muted. Okay, like so yeah. Um, so those purplish pink eyes kind of peering through, looking at you both. Sweat's like pouring down her face now. <sighs> Coast is clear. You guys okay? Oh, PG. Can we just, let's go. Come in. All right. All right, come on. And she would lead you back to the rest of your party um, as quietly and like slowly as she can. But you guys would all regroup. Um, actually, as you guys are walking through, go ahead, um, make survival checks for me. <clears throat> 13. Okay. On that 20. Uh, Ornan, you would. 100% see um, not only like a trail of blood, but footprints um, not related to any of your party's footprints uh, leading off um, into a different part of the rust yard. I can. What? There's fucking blood and footsteps, I think. She kind of like um, goes to where you're pointing, kneels down, and just kind of. Like swipes her fingers on the blood. It's not any of ours. No one got hurt. I think it might be the people that were looking for. Oh shit! They were sent here to like see crappy children. Oh, they probably got fucked up then. If we can, we stay here and go grab the rest of them and bring them here. Just stay oh. quiet. Okay. Good. A minute later, Mike and hops over. I did good. <laughs> I did good. <clears throat> Friends. Yeah, they're good. Um, big green boy. Yeah. I found a trail of blood. He believes it's from whatever people you were looking for. Yeah, that makes sense. Yeah, it makes a lot of sense. Maybe he's a retrieval then. Yeah, hopefully. Delightful corpse is in an easy to grab box. Bomb thing. Bomb? Eh, not the good way to word it. I don't know what it is. Magic shit. That's a good way to put Outside it. Outside of our perfume. Yeah, lovely, great. Um, sure, let's go. Okay. The quicker we're out of here, the, the better, better for all of us, right? Yeah. yeah. Okay. And she hops over and would lead you back to Ornan and Mirage. What'd you find? So what's up? Blood? Take a look for yourself. Leave. Uh, yeah, let's uh, follow it. Do you, well, do you, do you think that the trail of... Is, is just foot... There's, so there's footprints? Footprints and blood. Does it look like the blood was coming out of somebody while they were walking? Okay. It doesn't look like like they were like dragged. It looks okay. like like blood leading, like okay. it was dripping out of someone, like a dripping out dragged. of a wound. Maybe we don't go that way if they were dragged. No, but... it looks like these people were running and someone was wounded. 
That's what it looks like. Okay. At least that's what Ornan would definitely be able to pick up on. Onward. Yeah, let's go. Yeah. What's that? Okay. With Ornan in your group, it is very easy for you guys to follow this trail. Um, you would come upon a <clears throat> almost like, it's essentially just a large cave um, buried inside or made out of, sorry, hollowed um, into this like big hill of just scrap metal and junk. Um, you can definitely see in the inside there is a glow of like a torch or fire um, and you can hear whispered voices coming from inside. Like guns blazing, or I'm not like, equipped. I would like to personally I'm almost 100% out of spell. First. Okay, I'm low on magic. Want me, to, you want, want me to go get, take a listen? I can join you if you want me to do this. You're sneaky. Go, stealthy boy. <laughs> I'm gonna kind of sneak, not like into where they could see me, but I just want to kind of like get close enough to hear what they're talking about. Sure, go ahead and make a stealth check. Okay. That's cut. Okay. Oh, 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 that's a good, that's a good, oh. oh. 22. Damn. The other one Damn. was almost a five, <laughs> but it was cut. Thank you. And I went. Roll. <laughs> I went, really now, stealthy boy? I'm so stealthy. <laughs> I'm so I'm stealthy. See, yeah, I'm so stealthy. <laughs> bang, 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 bang. <laughs> like, the death like, of ah. Queen of Mary of Scots. Oh, yeah! <laughs> I think she's dead. Okay. No, I'm not. <laughs> she keeps dying. It's great. So, as you... go further to try to hear them um you would hear the distinct voices of at least three different people okay i think that's what we're looking for mm. three or four four um uh, yeah two <clears throat> half elves and then <clears throat> and then right so somebody died possibly <laughs> ironically it's one of the two half elves <laughs> that's just gonna okay so you hear a female voice. I patched the wound. Don't move for a little bit, okay? And just don't drink this. Okay, good. Um, then you hear a um, male voice. S sounds a little bit younger. Um, hey, see? She was able to get you. You're all good. Those insects, they got nothing on us. Yeah? You, you're gonna be all right, okay, man? Good, all right. Rest up, brother. We'll get out of here soon enough. And with payment and probably a promotion. <laughs> um, then you hear a lower voice. Whoa, promotion? I didn't hear anything about that. As long as we get paid, then, then it's all worth it. Yeah, 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 of course we're gonna get paid. That's what Mr. Kiori said. Mm-hmm. <sighs> now, if only those jumpers were back online. What do you think that's gonna happen? How the fuck are we gonna get out of here without that? That's what you would hear. No. Yeah, no, it's definitely them. You know, 100% for sure. One of them's injured. I can only hear three of them. Um, they were talking about Kyori, getting promotions, pain, and stuff like that. Uh, don't know. Don't think so. Fuck. So, uh... I wish they could have taken down the pick. Yeah. Go for the pick first. Yeah, but go figure, you know? Makes sense, but unfortunately. I was getting my hopes up, I didn't remember the one. That's your first mistake. You don't do that in ditch, just to let you know. Um, the one. They're getting your hopes up. Ah! Bitch. Um, Quiet! Was the game plan what we're thinking? 
Because your idea of a game plan is probably vastly different from what my idea of a game plan would be. So, monitor? Listen, they're already injured. We just go in and take the, the whatever you're looking for and we get out. I think you understand the fact that it. we're also injured and I'm almost out of every ounce of mana that I have. There's six of us. We outnumber them. See, and they know how strong they are. Work. They also have a big, 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 bigger, bigger, bigger green boy. Yeah, that, that's right. You're going to tell me you're backing down from a fight? No, it's not at all what I'm saying. I'm just trying to go about this rationally. <laughs> you fucking domesticated my brother. Yeah. Yeah, it was kind and of my They have done goal. no such thing. It's Ambrose did. She just like looks you up and down. Mouth. Shut your fucking mouth. You want me to bite someone? Is that what you want me to do? You want... Is that what you want? Yeah, go bite them. Okay, can I go bite them? Yeah, let's go fucking kill them. <laughs> <laughs> because honestly, diplomacy is not gonna work. Bomb. Be fucking. It could go. How the fuck are we going to get that fucking canister out of the west yard? I don't know, but actually, didn't stress say something about it being more difficult this time to blow it up? Yeah. Yes, but he also said to be careful. It's, yeah, with enough, like, damage done to it, it can still, yeah. but it's not just going to, like, it's not like a glass jar. Yeah. It's a brass reinforced, reinforced tank. Thing. But still, be careful yeah. to be as safe and as sorry. If it's activated, it's gonna go off. But exactly. The other thing to note is it is brass. Yeah. Brass is not the strongest. Yeah, exactly. It's not It's not gonna be destroyed if you like drop it, but if you just, yeah, you know, smash it. if you try to smash it or attack yeah. it, it's gonna explode. It's gonna go boom. Yeah. Not to, as to such a grand scale as before, but a scale. Yeah, and Large with what you guys know, this group, their entire goal is to take this thing yeah. back to their master. So I'm like, so they're, they're, they're not gonna, gonna, they're not gonna try. Willing dam willingly yeah. damage it, but- They're gonna protect this thing, but they're most but likely- But on the other hand, if things start to go south, they're like, okay, so no one's gonna fucking get it, bang. And then they go back and we they go, know. they broke it, it got broken. Oh no, we gotta get another one. Our table <laughs> is it's broken. broken. God damn it. I'm like, there's three fucking ways this can, this so, can go. What do you- With the canister. What are you guys doing? We can get the jump out there. Yeah. I wish I had made a hand and we I still have plenty of magic to spare. I, got I could shit. try to be my normal charming self yeah, if they're not they, willing to see reason. Yeah, they then want to go I can start fucking chomping. I mean if one is still patching up the other, I could just plant a shatter. <laughs> hey, Two birds hey, on stone. No. The, the, the canister. No. Uh, what does shatter do? Because if it's considered magical, I don't think it affects it, right? Oh. oh. It shatters I windows think. and shit if I remember correctly. It might be yes. wrong. How big were the bugs? Small dog size. Some you said there were smaller ones too, right? Yeah, like they were the juvenile ones, yeah. And how big were they? They're tiny. Yeah, that's what's the what damage. the Why are you playing? Sure, Do you just go in there? Bing, 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 bing. sphere no. centered on that point was to make a con saving throw. What are you thinking? Okay. Druidcraft, I can mock the sounds of small animals. The creature made of inorganic material. <gasps> Such as stone metal blood, it's a disadvantage. Okay. Hmm. What okay. are you? What did you say? Okay. No way. Hold on. This is actually. This is kind of, this guy's he, smart. He's big braining right he's, now. He's what are you big braining? His intelligence is intellicizing. <laughs> Druidcraft allows me to use a cantrip to make the sound of a small animal. Okay. I could use it to mimic the sounds of those creatures to spook the people. You definitely can try. Because I could try and put it on like the roof or on mm -hmm. the sides on the inside. Mm -hmm. To see yeah. if they fucking book it. Perhaps. If you want to try that, you're more than welcome to. You could like fucking ambush them. Yeah, I'll know. Get a fucking surprise round if we just like surround the area. Yeah, but then also we would have to like run again. If they run out. Mm -hmm. Because then we have to like, yeah, and then if we do that, yeah, yeah. 
That's why we don't make a noise. We just let them go. But if they oh, we need the fucking cake still. They're not just gonna drop their shit and leave. No, that's true. Who knows? Um. Sadly, I don't have. My He's back. Yeah, he's still alive. He's still alive. Oh, he's still alive. Oh, but I don't know. Swim right. Do you have a minor illusion? What a minor illusion. Please make it. Be free. Be Ambrose. I was about to say, does candy, and then I was like, no. Fuck. I first did it. He has trouble person. That's not what I want. I had another idea, but without minor illusion, I can't make it happen. Right. Ow. Nice. Why yeah. would you say something like that? How could you say something so vile? I'm so sorry. Do you have any idea how fucked that is? <laughs> that you would say that with your, with your, coming from you? With your full chest God, I and everything. I cannot believe that you just said that to me. That is... Wow. You know what I thought we had? <laughs> I'm just, no, I'm just really actually appalled. Okay, so, what are you guys... I, I really what are you guys doing? I was last night, and then I thought, oh, they were going to make those kind of jokes, and then I... <laughs> I feel like I don't know what to do. No. I'm given a couple of ideas, but... Um... Yeah. Personally, I would like to raise hell, but that is loud. So there's, oh, so there's three voices, but there's probably, the fourth is probably in there because that's probably the one that's injured and isn't speaking because they're injured. And then we have the orc, the other one. And the <laughs> but we also don't know what kind of um, abilities they have. We yeah. know that one of them is an artificer. Yeah, which is horrifying. Which is scary. So we could try to play. I see. Yeah, if it's an art or an artificer, I will cry. Any but artificer then, is going to be a bad day. If we try diplomacy, if the only con or to is diplomacy bad day. Bad day. is that if it doesn't work out, the element of surprise is gone. Mm -hmm. Unless. Unless it's just one person, you could still have other people yeah. try to ambush them. Yeah. yeah. Especially if that person walks around from wherever the entrance yeah. to this place is. <laughs> That's what I was thinking, is like we could kind of have one person go in and then two and then three on one side be prepared for whichever way that they go. Either they run into one group and the other group like follows behind and then um, I just... at least two or three people would get a surprise. Chat them up. How good's your charisma? Ooh, I'm Are you good at persuasion and or deception? Because I've got a plus two. I've got a plus four to deception. What's your persuasion? Plus two? Yeah. That's not bad. That's better than mine. <laughs> what about the fucking warlock who is charisma mean, based? I don't mean also, I don't, yeah, even, I don't what even really the... have to lie, technically. I don't we just even shot have Ambrose in there. I don't even have to lie, if you think about it. I can go in there and be like, it's fucking crazy out there. Well, that's, that's the thing, like, and that's why I want persuasion yeah. more than I want deception. Yeah. What am I trying to persuade them? Just to give it? <laughs> hey. Pr pretend that Ember's- That looks really good. <laughs> <laughs> give me that. <laughs> no. Lie and say that Amberster gave you new orders. <laughs> you have- That's a decent idea. Do you have yeah. a tongue? I had a completely different idea. I do have idea. the tongue. I do have that. I have the, Wait, the, or the piece. I have the piece from the dude's tongue that had the mark on it. That I have a could completely be. different idea. I was like, if things go south. Because you've got a solid idea. What was your idea? Um, pretend that you have new orders from Amberstar. True. I have a lot of names I can throw around that would be very, exactly. I got very a lot ready. of names. Okay. And then do we want to split up on the sides of the entrances just in case I try to make a run for it? Yeah. The other thing I was going to suggest is just persuade them that you're buddy buddy. Yeah. And then... I'll test the what, what, depending on yeah, where it's test, going. Test well, the water. Hold on. 
We'll see where the night takes us. And if feasible, let them have you take a watch by yourself. Yeah. That, that'd be rough. Yeah. I, I don't know if you could convince them. But I am. But I'm really not idea. that injured, so I could also be like, y'all have had a rough day. I'll chill here. And then, mm-hmm. okay. Okay. How do we want the party to be set up on the outside of the cave? We also need a, we need a code word. I was about to say, we need a fucking code word. If I if if I say I'm hungry, that means come in guns blazing. Okay. <laughs> Hold on, I'm gonna, I'm gonna write that shit down. I'm gonna say, come on, I'm kinda hungry. <laughs> Any, ooh, yeah, specifically, I don't know. I'm feeling kind of hungry. It's just a phrase. I'm kind of hungry. Like and then anywhere in that. Get in. <laughs> get okay. in. Um, secret agents. We're secret so I was going to say agents. it could probably be me and you on one side and then have. Or. I feel like me, you, Mike, and Dara Ambrose. <laughs> Because I want to be paired up with you since you have the Secure. lowest AC and the least amount of hit points. So just in case Secure. they try to come Secure. at you, I can Secure. shove Secure. myself Secure. between. Right. Okay. That's weird. Okay. All right. So, any other keywords we need? <laughs> Where do you think getting to be violent is good enough? We'll make it work. I'm used to doing stuff like this by myself, so. So I think <laughs> how weird. we're gonna split it for the cave entrances. Um, me, Mirage, Mike, and on the right side, Dara, Ambrose on the left side. Mm-hmm. Very good. Okay. It's like the ninety percent of the damage on one side, though. That's okay, the other side can seem more intimidating, and then it's like, surprise! <laughs> Coming in with a steel chair from the other side. Okay. Okay, you also have a stun. It's out of stun. It's out of that. It is a basic stick at this point. Whack! It is a club. It does we'll the same have, damage as one. We'll have Mike and go with Ambrose and Dara. Yeah, okay. Yeah. We got this. Yeah. You guys have spells. I don't. Yeah, I will hold a shatter. Okay. Um, Cook that. I'm gonna, I'm gonna see, where, see where they can just like, work myself into a bit of tizzy like I've been running. Mm-hmm. You just start dropping them place. Okay. Uh, you need a couple of bruises to prove anything? I have plenty already. <laughs> Thank <Yep>. you. <laughs> oh, <really? laughs> Mike. And then... Okay. Okay. Hold on. I just like look at me. Just <clears throat> make the cheeks red. Okay. Good. Thank you. Okay. And then I'm gonna like take a couple steps away from like the entrance, and then I'm gonna uh kind of like I'm like I'm trying to be stealthy so that like. You know, I'm like, oh, I don't want the books to hear me. Like, I know that there's nothing around the immediate vicinity, mm-hmm. but I want them to think that there are. So I'm like, and I want to like scurry in and like clamber and like fucking fall, like, boom, boom. <laughs> like, like very, like, oh no, I have fallen in. Oh, no. oh damn, oh, hopefully, I, stress. hopefully I can oh. hide here. Like one of those things. I kind of want to just scurry in and like fall over. Um, and w- once I get in there, kind of just, you hear all <laughs> four of them. Uh-huh. You see two male half elves, a half orc, and half orc. Mm-hmm. Oh, he just said an orc before. Mm-hmm. Oh, okay. Nice. And a tiefling. <gasps> Shut your fucking mouth. What? He went. Didn't no. No. So, the 
There's a tall, fair-skinned half-elf with sharp features. He has shaved sides, a long, blonde, uh, braided ponytail. Um, he appears to be wounded. It looks like his, uh, like one of his legs has been like bandaged and wrapped up. Um, there is a, another half-elf um, who looks similar to this, um, the injured one. He's shorter. Um, but he has fair skin, scruffy, blonde hair that kind of goes over his forehead. Um, again, sharp features. Um, then the half work has, uh, he's a very muscular half work with deep green skin and like robust features. He's got like a square head with a pronounced jaw with sharp tusks. Um, he's got like a black lion's mane type of hair that goes like yeah. all the way down his back. Yeah. Um, he yeah. is just, he looks like a brute. Um, and then the tiefling has purple skin, spiky black hair that falls over her ears and like the bridge of her nose. Uh, she wears a black robe with a tall collar and wears a mask over her mouth. Um, she's got like cold, thin black eyes too. Um, all of them like stand to attention as you like fall in. Um, the uh tiefling and the injured one both ready like a spell to cast at you and the shorter half elf and the half orc um both wield like swords at their sides and they the fuck who are you do you know where the fuck we are you got the fucking lord no lower your voice okay uh, the shorter half elf with the scruffy hair is the one who's like talking. The rest of them are all, all kind of like looking around for anyone Jesus. else. They're looking at you. They're looking at him for orders. Oh my god! Who the fuck are you? You gotta get out of here. I can't just go back outside. I don't think you have a choice here, friend. Can I just can I just chill for a minute? You see the half- My dick and balls almost just got eaten by bugs. I'm really not. The half orc begins to like, s like step up to you before the uh, tiefling like grabs a hold of his arms. Um, and he like looks down at her and like gives her this like angry look and she like looks up to him and just, we almost lost one today. No more death, please. Like shrugs her off. <laughs> what are all orders, Island? Let's just calm down, okay? Maybe they're not... Who what the fuck are you? My name is Mickey. Mickey? <laughs> All right. Nice to meet you, Mickey. I'm Aylin. And this is which one? Uh, the short, scruffy, blonde hair one. Aylin? Aylin. I'm Aylin, this big guy right here, as Quaro. The tiefling, Perseverance, and that stupid idiot over there who got injured is my brother Jin. I'm so sorry, what was the half word name? Quaro? Quaro. Q U A R R O. I was only gonna put one more, but it was an electronic. Listen, um. Kind of a uh, you, you you look like you're from here. Yeah. 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 It, it, what, the race, huh? so what are you? What are you? What are you doing here then? Stupid shit. Dumb, dumb, stupid shit that I should not be doing. <laughs> that about sums it up. Yeah. Sure. Yeah. Right. Hey. So, um, we're in a bit of a predicament here. See, we're. Um, <laughs> <Sorry>. <laughs> We're carrying some valuable goods with us, okay. and we kind of need to get out of here. Okay. You know a way out of this, not just the city, we need to get to Lothmanger. You know- Is all the shit's going on? Yeah, listen, um, we're, we're a part of this special group, I guess, kind of like covert group um so we need to get back there so we can help out but we're stuck here and the lord of the city shut down all the jumpers so we can't get out 
So we've been hiding from his goons mm -hmm. ever since they've been shut down. Am I full sending on being a sinner right now? Am I gonna full am I gonna full send on being a sinner? Am that's I full up to you. What? That, that's, that's up, up to you. you. I don't know if the vibes are right. I don't think so. I don't think they would catch you. Could just be like, buddy, buddy. Be like, oh yeah. Like, I'm that, that's what I'm thinking now, because I don't care. think like, that I, could I don't think the sinner like plan's gonna work. You know the city like the back. Yeah. Born and raised here, just like yeah. you said. Yep. You would know your Fuck. way out. That would have been so sick if I was like, hmm, crazy, check this out. This guy fucked up, and like, now I have to clean up his mess, but I'm finding another mess. Embarrassing. Amsterdam am stories can be very disappointed in you, but I don't think that's going to work out. Yeah. <laughs> I don't no, think that's going to work out. I think we're past that point. Full signed on. Vain ignorance, and you are more easily trusted. Okay. So, it's a true psycholo uh, psychology fact. Right? Yes, it is. So, take that and run with it. <laughs> Why am I so nervous? Okay. Right. Okay. Um, well, this, like I said, born here, raised here, all that stuff. Um, so, while the, uh, the, the rust yard is not exactly my favorite, and I don't have as much knowledge on it as I would like to, um, anywhere else in ditch, you got me. I'm right here. I got you. Mondo, we mondo. But, but I, we I, could... I genuinely don't think it's a good idea to go out right now. Understandable. We can wait. We just can't wait long, you know? Right. Yeah. So, listen. Um... But I mean, how are you going to get out of here if the jumpers are down? I don't know. That's why we're laying low until something happens. Something happens? What is that supposed to mean? I don't know. We really haven't been able to leave, as you can see. Yeah, that kind of sucks. And, like I said, Lord's goons are all over us right now, so we yeah. need to really... That stress guy? Yeah. Yeah, he kind of fucking sucks. Which, now that I think about it, you seeing us... Oh... Oh, 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 this can't be good. What? Now we can't, <laughs> can't let you leave. Yep. So. Okay. Then I guess I'm here. Guess we're just yeah. hanging out. I guess so. I mean, I have no problem with that. Wonderful. I don't want to go back over right now. Well, you can either help us out. Okay. And I suppose we could pay you for your troubles um or you know we can use it as bait and make it very easy for us to leave right guys I would so much rather if you didn't do that because as embarrassing as that whole thing was i am quite capable okay and again like i said i know this place very well ditch my whole thing whole thing back alleys all that all that shit okay so if uh it's a shit place and you kind of have to learn how to survive, right? So... And, and, and Preto, how... <laughs> how do you expect us to... trust You don't you? have to. I don't expect that remotely. Are you kidding me? I don't trust you, either. I just fell flat on my face and you all start pulling out weapons. Yeah, I don't fucking know who you are. Right. That's how I was raised. You hear the orb. <laughs> I like this one. <laughs> yeah. All right. So when uh, when will it be safe for us to skedaddle? I don't know. Um. Shit. Um. Okay. So, like I said, I don't know a whole lot about this whole thing, but but I heard one time from my sister, who used to be a rust runner, she used to do all this stuff, run through here, it's, it's like a game, they gamble on it, okay? Um, mm. She said that the, I think I might be talking out of my ass, wink, <laughs> that um, once, once like the kind of evening settles in, which I don't know what time it is, um, so I don't know how long we have to wait, but once evening kind of settles in, the, the creature bug things out there kind of go dormant. Like they, they go and scurry off to their little nest and they chill and they're quiet. And usually only something super duper loud and. Okay, okay, yeah, 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 get it. Wait till nightfall. Okay. 
Understood. Okay. So we wait. Okay. You can stay with us for the time being. Thanks. But if worse comes to worse, we will be using you as bug bait. I just want to let you know where you stand currently. It's not good. Mm. No good. Mm. Wonderful. Guys, well, I'm hungry. Let's eat. And they like all kind of like group up and start like getting rations. Ornan? I was like, during this time, could I just roll my hit die to get some hit points back? Sure, during this time I'll let you guys have a short rest since Macau is going to be as successfully infiltrated. As he can be. When do I want to fuck them all? <laughs> because I don't think they're going to go to bed. I think they're going to wait till nightfall and then as soon as it's nightfall they're going to fuck off. Oh, I got exactly, I have one hit died and I got all my hit points back. So. Wonderful. I forget that I have a deep roll sometimes and I'm like, yeah. Yeah, I'm back. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I don't got a lot. Also, yeah, didn't have to roll a single fucking thing because I technically didn't necessarily lie at any point. Nope. <laughs> My time of playing straw is proving useful. So, um, I have full health and I have one channel divinity. It was worth it. When should I? When should I at any point have a hunger? Should I be peckish at any point? I don't know, it's up to you. Okay, I'm just trying to figure Because they are currently munching, and I they are probably preparing to rest. Yeah, I'll, I'll give it a little bit and see if they're gonna like do any like resting or whatever. Because it's very well, uh, they probably wouldn't leave me by myself, obviously, because they don't no, trust God, me, no. but I also don't trust them. But at the moment, they don't have anything I don't want. So there's no reason. <laughs> yeah, um, as they are, um, snacking on their rations um, the tiefling at some point would like walk over to you and like sit down and unfold like a handkerchief that has a few rations in it as well and she just like l- kind of like looms over and just like looks down and like looks you up and down just kind of like scanning you mm-hmm. she doesn't say anything I do the same thing you seem Familiar. Okay. Why did you will that into existence? Hey, why did you we, manifest that? Why did you say it? Why did you manifest why did you say it? I didn't say it. But you manifested it. Just you shut up, guys. Let the man speak. Let the work. A little bit. I don't know. If I've seen you before... I don't know. Maybe. Something just about you. I don't know. I mean, are you from around <laughs> here, or...? Mm-mm. I don't know. I've been to, like, a couple different places, but, like, nothing so... Nothing consequential, nowhere that... I don't know. You weren't at Lothmanger any time recently, were you? Recently? No, but I've been there before, yes. Hmm. It's been a bit. So familiar. Hmm. Maybe I've got one of those faces. She just turns around and walks back to the other group. As she, like, turns, you uh, catch the eyes of the other uh, half-elf, the wounded one who's, like, sitting down. He is just unblinkingly staring at you with these cold, just sharp eyes just looking at you, staring. Like, more like, I'm watching your shit? Or is it more like, some... Hmm. <laughs> something's up. Okay. Yeah. I will, like, catch it and, like, look away and, like, look back. Still looking. Like, wave at him. Does not move. He just, like, tilts his head up. 
Cool. Cool, 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 cool. You say that out loud? Yeah. <laughs> um, you see Island like, look at you, and then he, like, looks back to the rest of the group and catches Jin's eye, and kind of, like, is taken aback for a second. He, like, leans over and, like, whispers something to him. I think I'm about to have an appetite. You see the the braided blonde one just nods, keeps nodding. Other half elf looks towards you. Yeah. Did hm. I say something? No. It's all good. Do they know who the fuck I am? Did they see me longer? Do they know who the fuck I am? You can roll insight. Because if please, so, please, please. I might be feeling a little snackish. Please, please. Little peckish. Well. They're suspicious of you. Doesn't seem like they know you. Okay. Well, they have been since I got here, so no change. Okay, I'm just going to keep waiting. Hey, um... What, what have you heard, you know, about things happening, Lothmanger? Mm. Well, I've, I've heard that, uh, something's up with the, the, the magic people in charge. Uh-huh. I don't know. The, what, what, what's his, there's a, there's a guy that's, uh, I'm just saying, because like any information would be very helpful to us, because we we gotta know what exactly is happening. So like, if you you know know of anything, I know what's happening. <laughs> what's happening? We know very well what's happening. They're trying to they're trying to catch me in a lie. <laughs> yep. Um, come here. Because uh, I know, I know that we, re- re- there is actual information that we heard while we were talking with Straz, and then also mm-hmm. information that we received while we were in Old Blaze, Sky Exanus. Mm-hmm. <sighs> Well, yeah, but then that will have been too recent. And I said I haven't been there recently, so I can't go back on that. Because technically, have I been there recently? Oh, who's to say? What does recently mean? Yesterday or a couple months ago? But... <laughs> okay. Uh, well, I mean, like... In, in, information... In what specifically... I mean, it's the magic capital of an emesis. There's a lot going on in Lothmingo, like, all of the time. The hell? Someone died. Someone <laughs> <laughs> remained and died in the other room. We were just wondering if you were aware of anything in particular going on. It would be extremely helpful to us. It might also raise your chances of us trusting you. I don't know. Well, I mean, I probably don't have any information that you don't already know since you're from there. I don't know. I'm not Did from Lothmanger, so... I say we were from Lothmanger? Yes. <laughs> yes? <laughs> Very directly you did. Very directly! <laughs> All of them would be... It just doesn't seem like they're gonna get information, so mm-hmm. once they realize that, they'll just kind of like, just look away from you, and Island just... All right. Well, I think we're gonna wait until the night then, and then you can lead us out. All good. Then once we're out of ditch, you're free to go about your merry way. 
Got it. Wonderful. Uh, Jin, you can go to sleep. I'll take first watch. Okay. So they're gonna wait until nightfall. Okay. Are any of you doing anything? I'm so sorry. Really I thought this would go faster. I'm ruling. I don't think I can, but I have to make sure. I am uh, patiently waiting as patiently as he can. Understood. Which is not a lot. Yeah. It's been cold. Yeah. You do it all right? Yeah, I'm just. I'm also getting impatient. I want to Please. drop a shatter right in the little cluster of dickheads. Would, would that like impact okay. the, the magic canister? I mean, it's got a 10 foot radius. Well. I mean, if you center it in the right place, I guess. Yeah. Yeah. I'm going to hit a cluster of like the bomb, of course. Yeah. yeah. I'm okay. going to do two up. I was like sitting there like maybe I can use my last spell slot for something smart and change it. But no, it requires a long rest to change any of my prepared spells. Unfortunate. All right. So nightfall comes around. It grows ever darker in the lower bowels of ditch. What are you guys doing? (laughs) What are they doing? (laughs) They are... They are gonna take a rest. Um, three of them go to sleep while Ilon kind of like stays awake. He takes a dagger and just starts fiddling with it. Every once in a while, he just kind of like looks over to you to see what you're doing. Distract him, see if he's got like a deck of cards or something on him. I was thinking, I was like, while we're sitting and waiting, I'm just like, guess I'll play marbles by myself. <laughs> marbles! What fun! Okay. Do you, do you have I don't. <laughs> I do not. I got a rope and dots and a lock box. <laughs> because the game was like, do you want to learn how to tie a noose? <laughs> <laughs> Could be useful now. Oh, you uh, hang yourself with, obviously. You'll die! Um, you just, after, like, a little bit of time passes, be... I'll kind of be, like, laying there, like, I'm trying to rest. Not, like, sleeping, but be, like, restlessly, like, turning. I'm just kind of listless. Like, oh, God, I can't. Just imagine, like, not I'll sit up. Myself. It's Island. Mm-hmm. Okay. The one that didn't like you. Uh, Are you bored? I'm kind of bored. Um. <laughs> Is he bored? Very bored. <laughs> There's just nothing to do here. We've been sitting here for I don't even know how long now. Um. Just waiting for Jin to get better and waiting to hear something. I don't know. It's rough. You're like, this whole thing has been fucked. Well, well, shit, what's going on? I thought you guys were just like trying to get. You said you had some goods, but like this seems like a lot of shit to go through just for some stuff. It's not. It's very important to our cause, okay? And. Yeah, because you're like in a group, right? There's some, like, stuff, you said? Yeah, yeah. Okay. In a group doing yeah. stuff. <laughs> I, I asked, you said, as, like, a don't look at me like that, you said it. Yeah. I have not caught myself. <laughs> yeah. It's... We got caught up in this whole mess, and we were sent here to... to get something. Hmm. It's very... Powerful. Okay. 
Okay. Oh. And and we thought we thought it would be so simple, so easy, and then and then we could just you know we'd get some money, we could we could actually start doing things, you know, making difference, actually going out and and exploring, adventuring. That's that's why we're all here. And then they got all fucked up, and the the deal went south, and um, well, we had to. Take drastic measures, otherwise, <laughs> yeah. Is that is that why all the jumpers are shut down? You got They're us. So, like, big time important then. Yeah, big time important. So, like, it, it's it's not just for money though, right? Like, you have. Bowls? Yeah. Um, I don't even know why we were the ones sent out here in the first place. I, but wrong place, the wrong time, I guess. Huh, I've been there before. <laughs> it's just, I... He, like, stands up at this point and just... Mm, supposed to be so easy. Fuck, why, why do we have to be in Lothmaker? <sighs> Nothing I can do now. Gotta go through with it. Starts fiddling with his dagger even more. Well, I mean, if, you know, I mean, if you're not, if it's this difficult and, and when on, you just want to go out and adventure and experience the world and stuff, why are you going through all this bullshit just, I don't know. Why not just just dip out? <laughs> Fuck it. I uh, you don't know how much I would love to dip out. So then why don't you? He just kind of like glares down at you. You don't understand the contract I'm bound to. Do you sign something? No. Verbal contract? <laughs> you could say so. Physical contract? <laughs> sure, all of the above. Ladies and gentlemen, we got him. <laughs> <laughs> I... He starts fiddling even more with the dagger to the point where he starts, like, dropping and he, like, cuts himself at some point, just, ah! Wait, wait, wait. We thought we could help when we were in Lothmanger. Under the guise of a good cause. And then it, it's like I blacked out. Like something took over me. Hmm. Mm-hmm. And now I'm here. Okay. Uh, everything's been so blurry and frustrating, and I just. Sorry to put your tongue everything. Out. Everything wants me to just escape. But I can't. None of us can. It's like we're a part of some hive mind and and we all want to leave we just know we can't because if we try we're dead if we can't leave ditch we're dead and i can't do that to perseverance she's fragile deeply afraid of death that's why she chose to be the healer of the group i i don't know what's going on anymore. I don't even know why I'm telling you this. He just kind of like sits down and just kind of like leans his head back and just puts his hand over his forehead. I, I get it. I, maybe it's... You don't. You... <laughs> don't tell me. You get it. You don't. <sighs> maybe not to the same extent, but I've been stuck before. Under someone else's thumb. 
told what to do all the time, and if I didn't listen, I got fucked. I get it. It's shit. Not a good time. And you you know you could just you could just take off, you can you can go somewhere else, hide, get away from all of it, but you know can't that you can't hide, hide because from him. they'll find you, right? I get it. You want to run and hide, you know that it's a fairly feasible possibility, but you know that doing that is signing your death warrant, huh? Mm-hmm. Yeah, I've been there. You seem to have uh, weird love or magic shit mixed in it, though, if there's some sort of non-signed contract and you, like, black out or whatever. I don't... Oh, the last thing I remember, I... We wanted answers. We wanted to know if what we were doing was right. So we went to... (coughs) Went to... Your leader, your... You don't have to say anything. You don't have to say anything. You see him like you his, stop, his stop, eyes go you wide. Stop, you he like opens stop. his mouth and you just see like dark blood just like pour out of his mouth. Oh shit! Just, hey. He starts coughing before like just a chunk of me just <clears throat> comes flying out of his throat, and he like stops and just looks and just like looks back up to you and just, <clears throat> and he just starts like convulsing as he's on the ground. Holy shit. Oh, um, um. Fuck! Fuck! Okay, Jamie has decisions to make. I was like, do we either like now help at this point, yeah. or it's like, do you just take the canister and run? It's like, this makes me hungry. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Meat. I hungry. <laughs> what is that? <laughs> Good. Give me that. No. <laughs> <laughs> Later. Yeah. Takes the energy, taking it around. Um, <laughs> oh, that's uh, Fuck. About how big did Strad say the energy tank was again? Uh. Okay. I'm it's like small size in D D terms. <sighs> this is rough because. Fuck these assholes, I want the- I want the canister, I want the tank. But oh no, Macau gets it and he's sympathizing and that's foreign to him. <laughs> Shit. I don't like that face that you okay. just made. Um, hey, what- So, uh, as he's like on the ground convulsing, his eyes open up and they're glowing blue. And he Get stops. Up, and Get Get with his hand and like the chunk of meat that he has, he just starts like writing in his blood and it just says, I heard. Hmm. How did they glow when it was Amberster before? Same glow. Okay. Take the cash and run. There was a moment of guttural fear Got that it wasn't Amberster for a second. Okay. That would have been. Also bad. Because, you know, one of the things. What you say? I what are, so, it. what are you doing? Um. Oh. <sighs> After he writes that, his eyes go back to normal and he just kind of like lays unconscious on the ground. So he's unconscious then. I'm going to. Are you unconscious? I'm impressed. Huh? I'm impressed that he's only unconscious. Tough I bastard. Thank God. He said, don't speak my name. <laughs> um, I'm going to do a quick just look to see if any of them have like something that could hold the tank or if I see something like I'm going to see I can Perception quickly check. locate where it could be. 
That was almost a 20. What's my perception? <laughs> 11. So not good. You wouldn't see it out, but they have quite a few like supply bags near them. All clustered up where their group is. Okay. There's at least three different bags that can hold okay. the energy tank. This is rough, because now I'm like, okay. So if he's just unconscious, he's breathing? Is he breathing? <laughs> um, it's giving the same of constitution. Do you have a soul? <laughs> Yes. Oh, it's giving the same thing as does Nox have blood? Yeah. <laughs> no. Does Nox have blood? Does Nox have blood? No, I do not. So say that one. Yes. Okay. He's breeding. He breeding. He breeding. He breeding. Wow. Okay, He's breeding. Really? <laughs> <laughs> Rabbits, guinea pigs, horses, what? Jeez. <laughs> what? Breedable. Sorry. He's, he's a breeder. He's got his little. Okay. Got a I will be careful with my words from now on. <laughs> oh, why is this? Only just now making that decision. Only now. Okay, <laughs> you have us two here. Wow, <laughs> unfortunate for you. What are you doing? Where are those three bags located? Uh, beside the other three people who are currently sleeping. This could either be the coolest thing ever, or it will end very poorly. Get help. Huh? Get help. I know, but uh, who who is this who is the sneakiest that other than me? Not I. Not a, who do I who does Macau know to be kind of sneaky? I'm plus three and still. Is Ambo oh, sneaky? Sure. Uh, yes. How's Mike in on sneaks? Uh... Excellent mid or poor? Uh, excellent. Okay. So earlier was just pure fluke. More excellent than Ambrose? Yes. Okay. Cool. Get your sister. Yep. Then I'm gonna kind of move towards the entrance mm -hmm. and just make a stealth check. Fuck. Eleven. Shit. He's out, out, so. Oh my god. None of them awake. Yeah! Yes! The one guy that would have heard you is He's dead. unconscious on the ground. <laughs> okay, so I'm gonna move towards the he entrance. Just not out of the <gasps> but towards the entrance and just. Why? Why? <coughs> what? I was resting. What do you want? She pulls out like a like a kunai just, and then I don't want to kill them. Why not? They're bad, aren't they? No. Not of their own free will, no. It makes it easier for us. No, wait, don't, 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 don't. Fuck. Just <laughs> I just I just and go. I go. <sighs> Cry. Okay. She just she sneakily follows you. Okay, I will gesture to the... It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. I swear to God. Hey, Keith, what the fuck? Advantage because I love her. <laughs> Advantage because... Damn, wait, that's so much better. <laughs> the power of love is real, guys. Just... I love you. <laughs> Advantage. I'm yeah. so fucking quiet. Like, I, 
She remembered earlier when she was sneaking off and I told her I love her and she got upset and so she wanted to be, she silenced herself so as to be unnoticed by even me. Yep. That's what happens. Okay. <laughs> sure. <laughs> I'll like gesture to the bags. <laughs> He's really like, go oh, for it. Giggle, he giggled. Um, the giggle, I googled. Okay, then I will shut the Please. <laughs> Pat. 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 I will gesture to the bags mm -hmm. and then make like ink. Okay. <laughs> I need help checking the bags. Make an investigation check. That's cock as shit. That is bad as shit. <laughs> What's her investigation like? We'll find out. Good wow, be, that was the... Good because I love her? <laughs> it's pretty good because you love her. <laughs> um, so you go and search one of the bags and it just has um, all the adventuring gear uh, for one of the party members. Um, but she goes over to another bag um, and as she like puts her hands on it, she just immediately like opens it up and immediately light kind of like She picks up the bag and just like starts sneaking out. You see all of you, uh, my exit the um, the like small little cave, and she and she begins to like walk away. She turns around and just. <clears throat> And she sneaks back over to the cave. At that point, I would start coming out. Yeah. Why were you hesitating? Just fuck off. She like grabs you by the collar and like yanks you. What are you thinking? I just... Why do you keep putting yourself in danger? I wasn't. They are sleeping. And they could wake up at any fucking I moment. Just... And you're not helping. I just want to know oh what God. is going through the fucking I bad. I feel bad no, for them. No, I'm whispering. I'm just. Let's, we'll talk later. Let's get yes, the fuck out of here. Let's... No. I have to be loud for the microphone. <laughs> Stage whispering. No. All right. So, walking slowly, stealthily, following Mai and Macau, you guys would exit the rust yard. With the energy tank in the back. Oh my god. So, you guys have exited. What are you doing? Well, at that point, Mai would then turn around and just. A fucking. Okay. Now you can talk. Ever since you came back, this whole damn day, mm -hmm. you've been acting so fucking weird. It's because of these idiots. What's going on? You are not you. It's crazy that, you know, 10 years can make a person switch it up a little. You should try it. Oh, yeah, I should just try it. I should just, you know, switch up who I am and then everything will be hunky-dory. Mm -hmm. I'm doing pretty good. I'm doing as good as I can. There it is. <laughs> okay, what what would you what do you envision for me? What kind of future are you hoping that I'll have? Let's start there. I don't know. I thought you were dead for the longest time. Mm -hmm. I thought that was your future. What did you want before that? Anything better than fucking here. Anything. Mm -hmm. But you decided to live with the filth and squalor? And then you just- What do you mean by that? What do you, what do you mean? 
What do you think I mean? What do you mean? What do you what do you know? What do you know about what I've been going through for the last I don't know! You show up out of the blue, mm -hmm. beg me for help, mm -hmm. and then throw yourself in danger mm -hmm. the moment <clears throat> I you know what? I I I wish I could say I don't care. Really wish I could. You make it so difficult. I don't know what you've been going through, but you don't know what I've been going through. I don't, no. And I was hoping maybe, I don't know, at some point we could talk about it, but um, you keep pressing for information in a very aggressive way, and so that does not exactly make me inclined to share with you oh. my fucking soul. Oh, I'm sorry, okay. Darling, my younger brother, Mikhail, please, could you explain to me why you're being such a buffoon? Do you want the summary, the blurb on the back of a book? Just a quick rundown? You know what? Then why are you asking? Do you care or do you not? You need to fucking pick one. Yes, 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 I fucking care, mm -hmm. okay? I practically had to raise you my entire life. My entire fucking life was taking care of you, making sure that our already fucking broken family didn't already, didn't, mm. I had to take care of everyone. Mm -hmm. Always. I had to put my own life on hold for all of you. And for what? Just for mom and dad to fucking die? Yeah, they're gone. Okay. Um. <laughs> what, um. What, what happened? What happened? Mike, what the fuck oh, happened? Mom, she got. Sick. Dad tried to help, but he got himself in trouble. He left one night and didn't come back. Found a note posted on our door the next day. Said that he wasn't coming back. Mom died shortly after. And with you gone, I didn't know what to do with myself. So I did what I knew. I stayed here and... I don't know, just... So yeah, when you came back and you're testing Kaiser at every corner. Yeah, I'm getting a little frustrated with you. Yeah, I want to know what happened to you. I've been stuck down here, if not I knowing know. what to do. I, did, I didn't know. Of course you didn't know. It just seemed like you didn't care. Why didn't you come back? Because I fucked up. Real bad. And I didn't want to drag the muck in through the doorway. So, I kept it outside. As far away as possible. But if we were together, we could have done something. I wasn't enough. And if you were there, maybe you could have helped. But you weren't. So, I'm sorry 
if I'm being a bit too much, a bit too aggressive for you. I thought, out of anyone in this fucking damned world, you'd be the one to handle it. But you've grown a bit too soft. So, uh, I'm glad you found a new family. She walks off. Do we, um, want to get this thing back to stress? Yeah. Need a moment? Hmm. You sure? What, am I just gonna stand here and think for a while? No, I don't need a fucking moment. Search yourself. I just start walking off. Okay. Come on. Walking time. As you begin to walk, um, you would feel someone's hand try to like ease into yours to try to hold your hand looking down you would see it's ambrose's hand he's merely like offering his hand but not forcing anything Take his hand. Okay. after you like grasp his hand he just like gently squeezes it and then continues to hold your hand as you guys walk back to um the tower which would lead you up and then you guys make your way back to straz's manor in a good or bad way grows later into the night, but you eventually make your way back to Straz's manor. Um, as you reach the doors, they would open for you, and um, you'd be met by Odo, once again, who would lead you into the banquet hall, where Straz is currently uh, feasting on like a platter of meat. And as you guys, like, open the door and walk in, he, like, outstretches his hands with a mouthful of food. Welcome back! Are you successful? Oh, my yeah. Yes. Yeah, we've got what you're looking for. Yeah, we fucking did it. And he, like, hops down off his throne and, like, rushes over to you guys. So? Where is it? Who has it right now? Toss in the bag. Oh, gosh. Oh, he like um, takes the tank out of the bag and just like holds it in both of his hands. Good. You're back home. And he like hold like hugs it to his chest. Well, payment is in order. What did you say? It was quite easy for you. Yes, you did it all in a day, just like I said. Easy would not be how I described it, but... But you're back in one piece. And he, um, like, tosses the tank to Odo, um, who takes it away, and then he, like, claps his hands twice. Um, another set of doors would open, and a few, like, servants would walk in. And um, they each hold, um, like, an item in their hand. Well, first off, here is your payment. And he slides over the sack of money. Oh. Um, okay. <laughs> How much are we getting? It is 250 platinum. <gasps> Fuck. Oh. So that's 50 platinum each. Uh, I hope that's compensation enough. And also, as promised, I have a little special treat for all of you. Can we do without the theatrics, please? Can we just... Business as usual. Can we just pull it along? 
I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Did you just raise your voice at me? No, I would never dream of doing such. That's what I thought. Good dog. <laughs> right. So, first up, um, who's it? Ornin! That's right, the big, strong barbarian. For you, I have a very precious item. He snaps his fingers, one of the servants walks up uh, with a little case, and it opens up, and it's a ring uh, with a hummingbird on it. That right there is from my precious stock, but now it's yours. That is the ring of evasion, so um, hopefully that'll help you evade all those volleys of arrows coming at you. Perhaps you won't end up like your uh, dearly beloved um, <gasps> sister! That's who it is, yes. Oh, fuck. Oh, fuck! And now, um, Dara, for you, I think you would find this rather intriguing. Mm. I don't have a specific item for you, but I know where you can find it. He snaps his fingers and a servant brings you over like a rolled up piece of parchment. Thanks. <gasps> Fuck you. Everything is here for you. In between here and Ocelia, there is a town. Underneath a rather large statue, there is a catacombs of sorts. In there, you'll find a legendary artifact. I've not been able to go myself, nor has anyone really been able to find it yet, oh, but I'm sure you can. And for you, being the protector of your group, the Staff of Resurrection. Whoa! <gasps> Maybe this time, you might be able to save someone. Oh, fuck you. <laughs> I'll take that as a compliment. <clears throat> Mirage, for you, this one. You'll have to do a bit more searching for the rest of them. But since you were so evasive in my studies, research, I guess, maybe now you'll be a bit more of a important figure in this world. One where people won't forget you. Uh, and he snaps his finger and one of the servants like um, unveils like this cloth and floating on this like little like pedestal that they have in their hand is a, uh, what looks to be a shard of a vesiculum. Now, None of my people have been able to uh, attune to this. You might have a better chance since you are um, special. Give it a try. Go on. Special in what way? I like to hear your work stress. <laughs> I think Mother Serpent said enough for the both of us, wouldn't you say? <laughs> She said plenty, yes. Mm, yes, she did. And in our, if I'm correct in my own little digging, um, she's not spoken in a very long time, but she spoke to you. One with two different marks, blessed and cursed. But now you can have my gift. Go on. Take it. As you grab onto the shard of the vesiculum, um, you become immediately attuned to it. Um, let me find the actual item on here. Um, <laughs> Strands, buddy. <laughs> But you, pal, <sighs> old friend, best friend in the whole fucking wide world. What the fuck are you doing? Okay. So, you hold, you hold it in your hands for a second before it starts like writhing 
And as you like let go, you, there's like a flash of light and this thing hovers in your hand for a brief moment before it like floats up and begins to orbit around your head. So I will give you the stats for this, but essentially when you use a meta magic option on a spell while you're wearing the shard, uh, you can, oh, wait, hold on. This is the wrong one. Whoops. Whoopsies. Oopsie. I did a fucky wucky. Here it is. Okay. Time to go on the forever so, box. This is called, this is a part of the Vesiculum Monarch. This specific shard is called Guardian's Hand. So it is a white and gold shard. It is warm to the touch and holds the power of a guardian from a different reality. Once attuned to the shard, it orbits your head. It can be held by the user normally, though others cannot. It no longer orbits your head if your attunement to it ends. You can use a shard as a spell casting focus while you hold or wear it. When you use a meta magic option on a spell while you are holding or wearing the shard, you can cause an ethereal arm to rip through the shard and strike one creature you can see within 30 feet of you. The creature must succeed on a charisma saving throw against your spell save DC or take 3d6 psychic damage and become frightened of you until the start of your next turn. Cool. Yeah, please send it to me. Yeah. Wow. Oh, Time cool. to put it on the note card. Yeah. <laughs> hmm. Uh, is it Guardian's Touch? Or Guardian's Hand. That's Mazakian Monarch. I don't even think I heard about that one. <laughs> what in the world? Fascinating. I knew you were special. I'll be keeping a close eye on you. Perhaps in the future, if I ever come into some big trouble, you can come solve the problem. I'm sure you'll know where to find me. I hope so. You are very evasive. And for my special, ooh, wait, do we have one more? Ambrose, That's what I'm Ambrose? looking. Yes, yes. Okay. Do I think for Ambrose, motherfucker? Yeah, he does. Sorry. <clears throat> and for the one who holds the leash on our domesticated dog over here, it seems like your leash has been a bit loosened as of late. So, to make sure that doesn't happen on anyone else, I present to you this. Uh, servant comes over and opens a small chest and inside are these ornate shackles. Oh and my. he presents them Ooh. to Ambrose Ooh. who takes them. Um, these are our special shackles, just so no one can ever escape, not even to a different plane. <gasps> so these are the dimensional shackles. Once placed on someone, They'll never escape. Oh, you motherfucker, don't look at me. Do not for don't you, don't you gaze at me. And now, <laughs> for our special, special boy, Macau, mm -hmm. the information on that leg of don't yours. Don't anything fun. Ah. I'm teasing. Good. You know me, I like little bits. <laughs> ah. Like things. Information? Good. Things? Ah. Makes my childish heart jump for joy. Right. So. This inventor of yours. He goes by the name Clement Brattlebore. An old dwarf. He specializes in making magical prosthetics. And you just so happen to take one of his prototypes. Not sure if he was done working on it yet, but we can take you to him and you can find out what piece of the puzzle is missing. Mm -hmm. hmm. 
Aren't you not grateful? It's just interesting. What did you say his last name was? Brattleball. Thank you. Thank you. Yes. What was that? Thank you. You're ever so welcome. So as you can see, I'm not as bad as what you might have thought I was. I can be quite generous and forgiving. And by forgiving, that um, little, uh, what was it, the um, rules set upon you, whatever that is, um, I will make sure those pff, go away. Why? What do you gain from that? You can be free. I will ask again. Just mm-hmm. to ask. What do you gain from that? Do I have to do anything to gain from it? It's not like I always have some sort of, um, you know. I have nothing to gain from it. I'm being nice. Is he being serious? Insight check. I don't think he's being serious. Yeah, no way this man is being honest. 15. You you know that he's doing this not only to give off the illusion that he is a kind and generous Mm -hmm. dictator. Um, Mm. You know that when he does someone a favor or just does something, he... Yeah, he'll make it seem like they owe him something. It's like, I did this he, for you, so yeah, you have to do this exactly, for me. Exactly, exactly that. You no longer have to be tied down to these people. And, in fact, I'm doing that one a favor. They no longer have to look after you. I'm sure that could be quite tiring, yes? Ambrose just, like, looks down and doesn't say anything. But, you know, maybe that might make things a little difficult for you, because, I mean, what what do you offer now that you're not looking after him? Is there any purpose for you to all stick around now? I mean, what's the reason? What are you gaining from this? Why are you trying, trying to, to break schisms. up the little group, huh? Oh, I am I apologize. I don't mean to come off that way. I you you have done me a great deed. And so I am giving you gifts. Payment. Yes. And so now we're even. Yeah, so we're of even. Of course you are free to go. Good. I don't want to hear from you. Hmm. You said he knew things about my son. Oh fuck. <laughs> Only a little bit. Like I said, you're very evasive. But that was after something happened in your life. You would disappear, but then reappear here and there like a mirage. Some people believe they've seen you, believe that some woman came through their town or little village or whatever and did a great deed and then disappeared. And some people don't even believe that even happened. But before whatever that defining event was, your life wasn't all that pleasant, was it? Before that day? That day? I'm merely talking about your life in the swamp. Glattenborough is a 
grim place. I would never dream of going there in, in my lifetime. But you lived out most of your life in the swamp there. Your family uh, taking control of you, uh, abusing the power that you came into. And uh, that strapping young fellow, what was his name again? Deludes me. And what about him? What about this strapping young man? Well, he's, um... Oh, I don't know, I should say. I'm sure you'd find out eventually. He's your lover, after all. I'm sure you write him all the time. I'm sure he's updated you on what's happened. Or I could find out for you. Would you like that? No, I... Pity. I have faith in us. We're getting pretty good at getting around. Giving the answers we need. Hmm. Well, if ever you get curious, you know where to find me. Well, would you like to stay and feast? We have plentiful food. Hmm? Please, I insist. And I don't know, I mean, we have a festival to get back to, and, uh, yeah. Right, yes. Save it up for there. Huh? Tomorrow's a special holiday. Yes. Anything could happen. Well, if you're not gonna stay, then, um, I wish you all a... Wonderful night. And a pleasant last departure. Have fun at the festival. Off you go. Let's, let's go. Odo would like uh, open the door and like guide you guys out. Lead you. Before we get all the way out, I want to be in the back of. Don't look at me like that. <laughs> uh, I'm scared. I wanna... <laughs> Jamie's scared, but Kyle angry, and they're fighting yeah. each other. <laughs> Straz goes back to like eating food. Just... As people are walking out, I want to be the last one because like I know my way out. I don't give a fuck. Um, I'm gonna go to like close the door and then stop, and not close it all the way, but like kind of close it like I'm trying to get his attention again. Do you remember? Um... What I was doing before you uh, ensnared me, I guess, is a less than good way to say it, but before you got me involved in all this. What was I doing? Why don't you come in? Oh, no, you can close the door. Or lead them out, please. Oh, no, go. And he just takes the doors. Oh, no. Oh, no. Please, this is not come. Going according to play. This is not what I wanted. I was just going to drop something and go. I was just going to go, fuck you, and then leave and... I will stay by the door. Such just yourself. Stand there. So, what is it you want to do? Do you remember mm -hmm. what I was doing before I became your dog? What was I doing, stress? <laughs> Struggling. During that, during that, what was I doing to your men? And for how long? Quite some time, mm -hmm. which is why I took a liking to you. Yes. And you served me so well for so many years, Mikhail. What changed? Why not come back? I can offer you so much more now. If you fuck with a single one of them, 
Listen, I know that there's really no way that I can get out from under your thumb, and that's fine. I'm okay with that. I've already made peace with it. But them? You fuck with them? That, that amount of time before, before you put me on a leash, you told me to bite, to scratch, to kill? That was nothing. If you touch a single one of them, I will rip out your heart and shove its still beating mass down your throat. Do you understand me? And I will laugh while you choke. And it won't be the ditch digger doing that. It'll be me. The dog has found his bark. Leave us alone. And that's not a request. As you wish, Macau. Enjoy your dinner. You can hand the inspiration die to the cow. Yeah! <laughs> <laughs> Alright. Shake it off, shake it off. Odo shake leads off, you back off, to the off, jumper, which activates Macau, <laughs> follows momentarily behind. Do a little drop to catch up. Are you both doing. <clears throat> Alright, after that uh, shit show... Fine, not if we... How about you? Odo, don't go. You go. Right, yep. Yeah, we're going. Yeah. Th thank you, Odo. It was nice meeting you. Nice to meet. Hmm. Okay. We see you again. It would be so nice to see you again, but hopefully not. Okay. <laughs> you would be fine, just you. Yeah. Although, <laughs> although is kind. Yeah, we don't know that. Kind to us. Kind to yeah. us, yeah. Kind to friend. Not foe. Although smash foe. It's a good, it's a good attitude, yeah. Would you like- I like <laughs> Nice. Yeah. <laughs> I just look at him just right like, I'm gonna, fuck yeah. Oh my god. Okay. There. <laughs> to the jumper. Mm -hmm. Rest of you. Let's get out of here. Yeah. Step through. I'll follow right behind the mirage. I'm gonna take one last look towards the direction of where the bowels are. And then I'm gonna go through the door. Alright, you guys are transported back to the cool town of Skyxanis, underneath the floating lake where the mother serpent resides. It is not a quiet night though. There seems to be quite a few people out. There are lamps that are uh, alight. Um, the center of Sky Xanis seems to be hustling and bustling with people, setting up the final preparations for the last departure. People are um, working pretty hard. Um, food and drinks are being served to people who are working. Um, there seems to be like um, colorful flags that are being, um, or like banners and streamers all being put up attached to like different houses and rooftops. Um, it seems like be different food booths are being set up, uh, different tables with different items on them. It just seems like people are ready for a nice festival tomorrow. It is late in the night though, so what are we doing? Going back to our inn. Okay. This is where I would like to go. Mm hmm What 
get the we'll get the nice big breakfast tomorrow. How does that sound? That sounds heavenly. Because after that whole thing was a little upset. Yeah. Not really in the uh the mood. Uh, maybe the atmosphere ruins Straz's food for me. Yeah, no I'm right there with you. You all go back to the inn. You're greeted by the, I believe is the halfling, right? You know what? No, it's a different person this time. They switch shifts. She said, fuck it. I don't remember. Someone else. <laughs> Someone else. <laughs> it's the guy that was running it, right? I don't know. Anyways, uh, it's a different guy this time. Okay. The whole nipple. Um, it's a bigger, robust person with like a like ginger hair and bright red like mutton chops. Um, he's just like sitting down. Um, he par- he's like playing with like cards when you guys enter, and as you do, he like swipes them all off and goes, <clears throat> "Hello, welcome in. How? Uh, what can I do for you? Looking for a room?" Uh, yes, yeah. please. Yes. Wonderful. Please. Oh. Oh, just told about you. And he like presents you all keys. Enjoy your night. Oh, right. Oh, oh thank you. Thank you. Oh, this is not right. Do you want other rooms? I mean, uh, no, 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 no. It's just very kind. Of course. Not you, you helped us and <laughs> you walk with the blessed ones. I mean, I guess we're not uh, privy to this kind of. Not really. Pleasure. Yeah. Well, that's quite a shame. You'd, you've done us a good deed, so uh, it's only uh, fair for us to return the favor. Do something good for you. Yeah? Yep. Yep, yep, You are uh, excited for tomorrow? Quite. Yeah. Yeah, actually. Okay. And there's a lot of things that are going to be having a lot of events, a lot of activities, so... Uh, what, what, what kind of events and activities? I kind of want oh, to... One of my favorite ones. It's called the Big Catch. And it's um, um, some of the more adolescent um, high drivers. They're all gathered up, and then they take some of the fishermen, throw them on them, and they go up into the underwear, spend the person who catches the biggest fish wins. It's kind of to help out for, like, you know, the big feast at the end of the day, you know, with all the fish and everything. But also, it's a nice, fun game. Nice, nice, good time to have, yeah? Okay. Yeah. A lot of good food, though, tomorrow. Um, I mean, if you're haul into the uh, whole ritual thing. Um, there's a few temples that are kind of reserved for some of the more, let's say, I wouldn't say cult-like folk, but I mean, that's how I would describe them. The yeah, 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 that's a better way to put it. Yeah. Um, but they're the ones who, uh, they worship the, uh, oh, what's this, it's been so long. Uh, they call him the architect. Not really sure of his name though. Yeah. I'm just gonna. Keith, what if that was my 13th reason? What if? Yeah, no, I'm right there with you. I'm gonna say, um, the architect. That was my 13th reason. <laughs> hey, what the. What the fuck? Give me that. No! Give me that. No, 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 no. No, no, no. Give me that. <laughs> hey, can I see him roll? Bam! Oh my god, he's so cute. Let me just. Oh. God, Won't be deleted, removed. <laughs> That's what I'm doing. I'm yeah, I'm gonna throw out. him back in the fucking cosmic abyss where he goes. <laughs> um, fucking hate that guy. Uh, but um, yeah, they are the ones who worship the big thing, the creator. But um, never seen it in my lifetime, so I don't really believe in all that. I believe in the actual gods that reside, you know, on Ethos, not some mystical figure that created everything. Even the Blooming Gods, I believe in them. We have some historical records of them, just not a lot. But whatever this architect thing is, nah, all a big bunch of hooey. Anyways, um, rooms for you. Is there anything else I can do for you all? Hmm? Uh, no, hmm? I'm okay. good, actually. Well, may Mother Serpent watch over you and you have a wonderful night. Yep. We have had such a great night. Right. Okay. I'm just going to take my key and go. Very good. Yeah, I'm going to take my You guys can divide the rooms however you want, or each have separate rooms. Up to you. 
There's a separate room for tonight. Okay. I'm the one that'll be with anybody else. Okay, Mirage, Daryl, Ornan, all separate. Mm -hmm. What she want to do, McCallum? I'm going to do it with two beds. I don't want to do the rooms. Okay. That's arranged. Very good. So, um, all of you guys get your own separate rooms. Uh, McCown and Ambrose have a room to themselves. Is there anything you want to do before the next day? You can still hear the ambient noise of people outside working. Um, that's about it. I would like to cry. <laughs> Roll for cry. I have a dumb idea. It's an 18. That's a good cry. It's a good cry, man. <laughs> you let all the emotions out. Feels good. <laughs> I'm just going to fiddle with the uh, secular monarch. Okay. Just trying to understand. It. So is my attunement due to my curse mark or my harmony marks? Or just for fun. Hmm? The attunement to the Vesiculum shard, is it due to curse mark or other marks or just magic? Oh, I see what you're saying. Or is he being ambiguous because he fuckhead? Yes. Roll an Arcana check. Uh, okay, no, that's fine. I would also put... Fuck, I lost the inspiration die. Sorry. <laughs> Ten. Ten. You know, tens are really. He told really you, or at least believed, yeah. that you were special because of the marks you have. <laughs> so, all of the people he said that he's tried to give it to, it didn't work. So, he believed that since you were some special person, that this thing might be able to attune to you or you attune to it. And he was correct. Okay. I would also put on my ring of evasion and just kind of let that Very good. sit and just like lay in bed and just fiddle with it. Okay. I believe the... You have to attune to it as well, or maybe I do. not. I did, I did indeed yeah. look it up. Okay, good. So you have the Ring of Evasion. There you go. Oh, motherfucker. <sighs> Bitch ass. First off, politely, fuck you. Understood. Second off, I'd like to pray to Kaiser. Yeah. Roll a religion check, motherfucker. Yeah. Oh, he's bet. You can He's bet waiting for this one. You can do it. Okay, you, you can do it. <laughs> no. Hey, no. he didn't see it. He didn't see it. He didn't see it. What was the roll? No, he didn't see it. Four. Fucking. No. I haven't rolled good at all today. I had one nat 20 and it was at disadvantage. You begin to pray to Kaiser, but the entire time you are praying or meditating, you never feel his presence, nor do you feel yourself connect to him. Kaiser no one to speak. Something seems to be blocking that connection. What the I'm hell would be blocking It's him? his wife. <laughs> is there any reasonable reason for this block, or is it just like struggling to block, struggling to do so? So it's just. Think of it like writer's block. Okay. Like that same sort of feeling where it's like, I want something to happen. I want it to be there, but I cannot it out. do it. Exactly. There's all this pent up, like, oh, fuck, I have to do that. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Yeah, he'll probably just lay down. Okay. Uh, at some point in the evening, I will tell Ambrose that I want to go get some air. And so I'm going to to go on a walk just for like a couple minutes. And then when I come back, 
come back, uh, I will have, during my walk, taken some little pieces of paper, written some things on them, and, like ripped them into little segments, and I will slip them under Ornan's door, one under Dara's door, and one under Mirage's door, and they all just say, uh, I'm sorry for dragging you all into that. Don't want to talk about it. Make out. Okay. And then I will go back to Ambos in my room. And I will lay down. Is everything okay? Eh. Not good with words, so... Do you want to fight about it? Want to fight about it? You said you're not good with words. <laughs> hey, what are you are you offering to let me hit you? Is that what this is? Oh, I wouldn't let you hit me willingly. You can try. <laughs> is this about what happened on the ship? When I when I tried to like smash your skull in when I got all that weird emotion shit from the emo harmonizer thing. The emo synth harmonizer. Is that what this is? No. No. What is it? You just said you're not good with words, so I thought maybe if you start using your fists, I don't know. It's, it's so you, say, you want me to attempt to beat the shit out of you, is what you're saying, because cause the, that's the opposite of... I was just making a suggestion. You can take it or not, I don't care. Well. No, you know what? Actually, yes. You're a magic man. That would be funny. I want, yeah. No magic. He immediately right casts. Here, right now. He immediately <laughs> casts uh, Eldritch Blast, but it like, no! <laughs> like hits the side of you. I just fucking said no I magic. I already casted it before you said anything. Outdoors? Or are we fighting here right now? Well, I don't want to mess up the inn. You just cast. Eldritch Blast at the wall! You were like 10 feet away, I didn't think I was gonna miss. All, at least whoever's nearby would just hear, And then, Oh my god, you don't Apple! my my gloves onto the my big gauntlet of boys on the floor and as Amber Ugh. starts like walking out uh, you hear uh -huh. he turns around and you immediately see like glowing green eyes and he just no this is not what I agreed to there was no rules I was talking to Ambrose Eret Eret Ewa that's a valid argument. And he just like takes a step out the door. Switch back. He starts. He just runs away. Just. I'm fucking faster than you. <laughs> Stick you just, as you like chasing, you hear. <laughs> Good. Okay. Cool. <laughs> Catch me outside. How about that? All right, you guys are like and running yourself? outside. Where are you going? Just, uh. I don't want people to think we're like actually trying to kill each other. Mm. Somewhere that is like. Discreet. Yeah, you guys can head to like the outskirts of town. Okay, the yeah. outskirts of town. And as soon as we get to the edge of town, while mm -hmm. he's still running, I'm just gonna like, push him over. Make it a make a make an attack. We. I do not shove him over. <laughs> okay. <laughs> That's a ten. Understood. I just give him a good shove. Real, real have to shove. You're like a. <laughs> You shove him and he just like takes the dive and just like rolls and stands back up and turns towards you and pulls out a dagger. What the fuck? I never said I was gonna let you hit me willingly. You got fits, and I have magic. You stab the fuck out of me? <laughs> okay. Yeah. 
Yeah, yeah. Just like, take off. Go ahead and make an attack against him. Okay. Jesus Christ. Hello. No. Another one. 14. 14 hits. Non lethal, of course. Six. But what if, but what if he does lethal? No! <laughs> Six points of non lethal dabblage. Okay. That's it. Very good. For me. I'm assuming we get turns. <laughs> yeah, it is his turn now. Okay. Just let him cook. Ambrose is a warlock. All he can do is one thing if he's not warlocking. Uh -huh. Okay, he's gonna take the dagger. Okay. Swipes at you. 17. Yeah. Yeah, yeah bitch. Take five points of damage as you start like just pummeling him with your fists. Um, he's able to like dodge out of the way in one in like slow motion as he like matrix under your fist, just brings a dagger up across your chest and like spins around and, like crouches and just looks at you with this like wide crazed smile on him, his <laughs> eyes wide and he just. <sighs> Pussy. What was that? 17. Hits. And then the other one. Not a 17. It's 14. Hits. Hits. Eight. Six. 14 points of damage? Yeah. Okay, how do you hit him? How is this, how is this looking? Um, so this is slashing. I'm all upset. He calls mm -hmm. me a pussy. And as soon as he backs up, I just... I do one of like these, like I'm, like I'm, oh, oh my getcha, yeah, and I'm stepping forward, <laughs> and then the second I go to do another one, I go under and get him in the stomach, <laughs> and then as he like leans forward from that, I grab the back of his head and I just boom with my knee <laughs> into his face. <laughs> so how we feeling? Huh? You're slurring a bit. What'd you say? I was set, and he just. Freeze the dagger over to you. Okay. 19. <laughs> yep. Five points of damage as he as you're like, huh? He takes that opportunity to like take a step forward and he just slices down again across your chest. Oh. I said. How are we feeling? Any words coming to mind? Oh my jaw. Uh getting there, maybe. Okay. <clears throat> You wanna switch back yet? I'm gonna fuck you up. You wanna switch back yet? I'm gonna fuck you up. Do you wanna switch back yet? Oh, fuck you up. Switch back! <laughs> <laughs> Stop the show. Uh oh. It's a 15 on the die plus 6. It's okay. definitely. Uh, 15. Yeah. 6. Oh, 5. So another 11. You see him like he he looks like he's a bit dizzy after you jostled his brain with your fucking knee and then he just keeps taunting you. Uh -huh. Um how does your skin feel? Not good? Take it off. <laughs> it's just that how oh, is your skin bothering me? Uh, bothering me? <laughs> <laughs> Your skin is bothering me, actually. Is your skin bothered? Yes. I'm quite bothered. <laughs> I'm bothered. Sure I'm bothered. I am bothered by your skin. <laughs> Sheath yourself. <laughs> Good lord, sheath yourself, sir. All right, anyways, um, he seems a bit dizzy, and as you like throw a punch, he like tries to dodge out of the way, but he's just way too slow. So you just say, uh, switch back and it just collides mm -hmm. and then collides again. And with the second one, he just, poof, dagger, poof, poof. That was it. He's fragile. All the fucking bark and that's it. <laughs> I 
I, I get, I kind of crouch over him and I grab his shirt and I lift him up. <laughs> That's it. Switch back. I have something I'd like to say. It's not Ambrose. Who is it? It's his main form because he's unconscious. Oh my god. <laughs> you just unlocked Cantrell. <laughs> you just labored breathing coming from him. You know what you gotta do. What do I gotta do? You have to do me. No. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> no! It's what I wanted! Oh my god! It's what I wanted! You suggested I don't yell at the fella or come on. That's what I wanted! I mean, it's proof! <laughs> Yeah. There. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Fuck. Then I'll... So you keep telling him to, to switch back, and that obviously resonated, but since he is unconscious, it goes it back the to one. the original the form. Okay, then I'll, I'll like gently set him back down for a second. Just wait a minute. And then I'll scoop him up. <laughs> and I'm gonna start carrying him back inside as gently as possible. Okay. And then I see the, the innkeeper, I'm like, just, just a long story. Oh. It, he's okay, he's fine. I didn't see anything. It, it's nothing untoward, I promise. I, I wasn't thinking that. Okay, good night. I get a down the hallway. Get him in the room. Strange folk. Get him in our room. Mm -hmm. Shut the door on my foot. <laughs> Sit him up. And I kind of like look around for like a washcloth or something. Mm -hmm. And I get a little washcloth, get it kind of wet. And then I start cleaning up like the blood and stuff on his face and wherever I maybe split skin with a good punch to the to the noggin. I'll oh yeah, he is clean it up. bruised. I'm gonna, I'm gonna clean it up. His jaw definitely like yeah, I'm bloodied up. Yeah, I'm mean, taking care of him. <laughs> Okay. Care, 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 care. See if like if he wakes up at any point, cool. If he doesn't, cool. So It'd be a little while. Yes, yeah, it's, it's But then time. he would. Ugh. Hey. He just. Hey, careful, careful. Hey. You good? You don't have to. Oh. Immediately switches to Ambrose. I was literally. What? That was uncomfortable. How do you feel? Okay. Any better? Yeah. Yeah. 
Good. I need to sleep. Yeah. Yeah, and I'll like set the washcloth aside. That's why I'm the punchy boy. Yeah, that's why I didn't want to be there for that. I just have to be here for the aftermath. Sorry, sorry. It's okay. <clears throat> Good night. And, and like as he goes, he lays back down or whatever. I'll like kind of get up from the bed and stop, turn back around and look at him. And then I'll walk over and give him a little kiss on his cheek. Doesn't react. Just. And then I go to bed. Very good. All right. Perfect ending right there with that music, you know. Okay. Hell yeah. Fade fun. to black. Fade to white. I, what a wonderful day! I was about to say, I have a really bad feeling about this. <laughs> the 23rd. I think, it, I think it might be uh, Vesper in here speaking to me like, I don't know about it. I don't like it. And it's the last departure. Sorry. Last yes. departure. The last departure. So I know I live. Yeah. You guys awake. The 23rd of Praxis. The sun is shining through the underwisp. The blue shimmering light kind of like that hits the ground, gives it that again, like rippling effect on the ground. Um, <clears throat> people are already up this morning. You hear uh, voices outside of people like cheering, laughing, just very happy crowd noises. <laughs> um, you smell uh, smoke uh, from like a whole bunch of different like fire pits. Uh, every once in a while, you'll smell some sort of like sweet baked good or some sort of like grilled or roasting meat. Um, <clears throat> every once in a while, you hear like the. <laughs> of high drivers speeding overhead. Um, yeah, people are already up. They're celebrating the day. Um, it's, we'll, we'll say it's like mid-morning since you guys did go to sleep pretty late. Um, but yeah, it is a beautiful day in Sky Xanis. And the festival, the last departure is already taking place. Woo! Now, from all of your guys' lives, um, you would know the last departure again is a major holiday. Um, it happens every single year on the 23rd of Praxis. Um, it is the day that the red cosmic being that people believe to be the creator uh, departed into the rift. Um, on this day specifically, it has been exactly one century since it was last seen. So many of the um, elves in this land would know of this creature. Um, <clears throat> even some of the half elves, a lot of the creatures that have a longer lifespan would have known or seen this creature before. Um, but all those who don't have a long lifespan would just hear stories, myths, legends, rumors about it. Uh, but that's about it. Um, depending on where you are, the celebration is different. Um, since you guys are in Lothmanger, um, the city-state of magic, um, and sp specifically in Sky Xanis, they hold specific um, festivities or traditions, events, things like that. Um, in Sky Xanis, <clears throat> it is a day to um, basically to celebrate their life and also um, like celebrate the mother serpent for watching over them all this time. Um, what else? It would also be a day where people are excited to see what happens next. Will he return? Will he not return? Are these just all stories? Like what's, what's gonna happen? So people are celebrating um, just almost like the new year is essentially what this is. The day is yours. You all awake. What would you like to do? First thing I check on Ambrose, how's Homie doing? 
Uh, he's he would still be sleeping at this point, but he he looks all right. Okay. No more labored breathing or anything like that. I want to do that thing that, that kids do. Like, I'm doing it in, like, an ironic, funny, ha-ha way. That thing that kids do when it's Christmas morning. Mm-hmm. And I want to go and, like, start, like, pushing on the bed. Like, Ambrose! Ambrose! Ambrose, get the- Whoa, 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 whoa. Festival! <laughs> Good morning! <laughs> festival! <laughs> a fucking feral tiefling over Immediately, just like, <laughs> festival! Like, the sports tongue coming out a little bit, and then he- Good morning. Morning, yes. Festival time? Festival, yes. Are you okay? Celeste, I'm a little bruised. Doing mm-hmm. okay. It looks good, then. It's a good color. Thank you. Festival time? Oh, let me get dressed first, please. Okay, my... You're like a child. You are a child, what am I saying? <sighs> Come on. As he's oh, yeah. like, as he's getting dressed, he's like, so, how does it feel? How does what feel? Well, you're finally free. Wait, it already happened? I thought that's what he meant. Oh. He said he'd make it go away. Oh. So, um, he holds up like his little book, tosses it to you. Oh! Sing, hands you your gold pouch. Have fun with that. That's all yours. Do you, um, I mean, I mean, like, obviously, you know, uh, you, you were like keeping tabs on me and stuff, making sure that I was behaving and, and all of that. Um, and I know that he got rid of the rules and stuff like that. And uh, in a way, like we did something in order to, to have that happen. Um, I mean, I, mean, I guess what I'm, I'm trying to ask Ambrose uh, of you with your infinite wisdom. Um, do you think I earned it, though? I was, I was in... The, there's a whole reason that this was going on, and so I don't... I just, I don't know. Do, do you think I earned it? Or was it the fucking handoff? I mean... <clears throat> you said a lot of things before we went into Ditch. <clears throat> how you were worried about a lot of things. How you might go back to your old ways. I didn't see that. It seemed easy for you to stay the path. You said you didn't want to go back to being him. You didn't. You stayed with all of us. You made sure everyone was okay. You had all of us on your mind. It was like not once you even thought about yourself. You just wanted to do what was best for the rest of us. That's... That's Macau. And he like goes over and places a hand on your heart. You are not the same person that you once were. You've changed. And I'm sorry about what happened to your family, but we're here for you. And it's clear that you're here for us. You're free to do whatever you want now. If you want to go, go. If you want to stay, stay. It's your choice. So, yeah. I think Macau earned it. Hmm. Okay. So I can I <laughs> I can do I can do what I want. Yeah. Mm. I don't like where this is going. I'm gonna grab both sides of his face. I'm gonna give him a big kiss right on his lips. That's for Beck and Anduin Festival, and I fucking run out of the <laughs> out of the room. And I go and I whoever's room is nearest. I just bah, 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 I just start immediately knocking. <coughs> uh, Someone roll. <laughs> no, I got this. 
Yeah. All right, it's all yours. I got this. <laughs> Take it. Orion! <laughs> uh, c- come in, come in! Festival! Festival! Good morning! And then I run down the hall to the next week. Okay. Yeah, so I guess at this time I would have just been, you know, looking out the window, people watching, and then, well, looking up at the sky. Happy holidays, man. You would notice, looking up at the Underwisp, the Mother Serpent, who usually has her eyes gazing down upon the town, is not looking at the town anymore. It's a distinct feeling. It's almost uncomfortable not having that presence, that gaze upon you. In a way, it's almost a sense of abandonment. Oh, because I think it's... <laughs> 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 Shut up! Hmm. Yeah, and I guess I look at the vesiculum. Mm-hmm. <sighs> Just give a shrug and make my way for the door. Right, right, right. Hey, hey. <laughs> Good morning, Miguel. How are you doing? Good morning, miss. I am doing great. I am a free man and we get to enjoy this festival Ooh. to the fullest. Oh my God. <clears throat> You're a free man. I am. So, what's the first thing you're gonna do? Well, I already did the first thing that I was going to do. Does so it... now I have to bigger figure picture. that out next. Well, you know, I was thinking bigger picture. I haven't thought about it. I don't know. That's fine, okay, but we're small. That's fine. I didn't think I would get here. Oh, Tara! <laughs> you coming, Mirage? Festival? Yeah, festival. I put my mouth up against like where the door meets the door frame. There it! There it's a 23rd of Praxis! His sword is ready. Your sword no, oh, wait, no, tomorrow. Your sword is ready tomorrow, and therefore we must drink and feast and party it up! Are you None awake? of that then? lines up. You are awake! Okay, so here's what you're going to do. You're going to get dressed so fast, and then you're going to come outside, and we're gonna we're gonna fuck up this festival. Not like fuck it up, fuck it up. You know what I mean. But like, we're gonna fuck it up. I'm already dressed. Open the door? No. <laughs> Why not? No. There are... We... But... Are... Are you... Are you gonna come, though? To the... Are you coming? Hello? There are. McCarthy, you want to go get breakfast? Not there. There are. I walk over. <laughs> pay, 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 pay. Oh shit, I told him that. You've had enough beauty sleep. Get your ass up, let's go. I, I don't you, think you can get any prettier. You have us beat. Let's just Come on, I got the over with. I got the battle axe inside of your door. I can dig it down. Come on, get your ass up. Let's go. Uh, please do not. Uh, mm, no, please don't. Empty threat. Don't worry about it. Get your ass up. <laughs> no. I will send magic missiles through your goddamn window. <laughs> so and just have them, have them hover by you. <laughs> A threat. <laughs> That'd be so terrifying. It's giving that arrow whistle thing from Guardians of the Galaxy. Oh yeah. And just staying there. Dara, please. Why? Please. Please. Fine. <gasps> yeah. Okay, come on, let's go. We're going downstairs to get breakfast. We'll wait for you down there, okay? Do you want any breakfast? Do you want anything? I'll meet you there. We okay. What? There is no downstairs? Oh, there's no downstairs. No. If you want food, it's across the way. I forgot that there are no stairs here. Yeah, you're correct. There's We're also- gonna go. Oh, yeah. I'm gonna go back to playing cards. Thank you so much. Nah. <laughs> <laughs> Hit him with the key, Baldwin. <laughs> All right. Yeah. So, Becky, 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 Mikhail Becky. has Ran out the door. What is everyone else doing? Following. Wonderful. Yep. Okay. After like five minutes, I'll actually get out of it. Yeah. Um, as you would exit your door, um, Ambrose would be like standing in his door frame, just like a look of just confusion on his face. Just. 
You too, huh? Huh. <sighs> yeah. You good? Mm. No further questions. <laughs> that is a look of giddy. <sighs> uh. Come along. You see his like eyes. He like begins to like blink rapidly, and they change um, from Honey's eyes to his eyes every once in a while. Yeah, uh, that's what I thought that meant. <sighs> uh, also, he is like super bruised, like on the parts that are exposed, super bruised. His whole face bruised. Okay, hold on. What? Uh, you looked fine last night. <laughs> Did you get? Bit by a rattlesnake? Oh, no. Poison? No, I see that. Okay. <laughs> Ambrose puts a hand on your shoulder. You could say that. And he walks out the door. <laughs> what the fuck? Everyone's <laughs> acting so weird at the festival. Okay, so like five minutes later, you guys are like sitting down in the tap. Or are you going to the tavern? Yeah. There's yeah, a lot yeah, of food yeah, stalls yeah. Out, outside as well. No, we've been to the tavern before. <laughs> Let's mix it up. <laughs> okay, so what you would see, there are like rows of different like tents that are set up. Um, there are some people who are cooking what appears to be like exotic meats. Um, there is an assortment of breads and like baked goods on one booth. Um, there is uh, an assortment of brightly colored fruits and vegetables on one stand. There's just a variety of different things. Hmm. Well, uh, what the, where did we start, huh? I don't know, there's too much. Um, I'm gonna go buy an apple and a slice of bread and that's gonna be breakfast. Oh, fucking boy! I don't want to go find a picture. <laughs> okay. Uh, you come across like a white and teal uh, striped tent. Uh, there is a halfling who is um, giving out like bread to people who are coming through. And as you like walk uh, to this booth, she like looks up at you and just goes, Hello, darling. Um, can I interest you in some, some baked goods? Consider me interested. What you got? Well, there is what we call a sweet roll. Um, you can see it's it's basically like a cinnamon roll with like icing glazed oh. over it. Yeah. Um, then right there we got some some uh, little buns that we've made. Um, that is my favorite. That's a vanilla loaf right there. Um, and then there's assortment of different breads with um, some fruits mixed into it. So what would you like, my dear? Sweet All right, that'll be three copper. Okay, okay. Oh fuck, I have to do math. <laughs> oh shit, I have to do math. <laughs> what do you got? <clears throat> All the way down. <laughs> what do you got? 70 gold, two silver, one copper, and then I have all the platinum. Well, it's about 7,000 copper and just gold. <laughs> <laughs> so... Does one silver equals 100 copper? 10. 10. So, that would be great. Jesus. <laughs> that would be so, great. take off 10 gold. Okay. Give yourself a hunt, uh, 90 silver. And then 100 copper. Okay. And how much was it? Three. Three copper. Math. Nine. Math. Big numbers. Big math. I can have as much money as I want. Okay. Yeah, I've got a fuck lot of money at the moment. Yes, you guys do. I will. It's still not enough for plate mail. Yep. <laughs> I will take my sweet roll. I will bid her adieu. Have a lovely festival. You too. Meat stall. Anything with meats. Mm. Yeah. Okay. Let's go. So, uh, you see two Goliaths who are cooking up um, an assortment of different meats. They have this. Um, like big old fire pit that's going and they are just it's like a triple skewer going and it seems to have like one where it's like um, like rotisserie chicken uh, one which seems to be like pork and another one which is like um, some sort of like other meat you don't okay. exactly know what it is but it looks kind of like steak and it's just roasting over a fire it smells delicious every once in a while you see them like sprinkle some sort of seasoning on it 
And then, like, after, like, a few moments as you're, like, scanning, like, this, this tent, like um, like... one of the Goliaths open up, uh, like, this small little, like, metal dome, and just a whole bunch of smoke just, and just fills the air with this amazing, like, smoky smell of, like, meat cooking. Delicious. Like, your mouth immediately starts, like, salivating. Yeah, he's like, um, so it's, uh, so what you got? Can you explain your, um, uh, your meats? Would you not just say that? I would yes. love to. <clears throat> he gets um, it. He gets it. So, right over here, these are some axe beak breasts that have been roasting. Um, right over there, we got some roast ribs. Um, right over there, he starts explaining, like, there's, like, five different other meats that he's, like, making at the same time. Uh, it was me. <laughs> <laughs> this is my charge. It was me. We got some basilisk tongue over there. Um, what, uh, what else do we have? Um, what the fucking animals are there in Team D? Let me pull up the monster manual. What the fuck can we make? Anything is cookable if you try hard enough. Exactly. Fish. There should be fish. They have so much fish. These guys specifically are not making fish. Um, These are like um, exotic meats. I Um, I was like, wait, yeah. How have you not mentioned the fish? No, they definitely have fish. Um, Dragon steaks. Oh. Just Dragon steak. Um, there looks to be like a turkey leg of some sort, which appears to be like wrapped in bacon. Um, yeah. I was like, I'm gonna stop. I'm gonna stop. I just. I'm sorry. Kraken calamari. <laughs> I was like, I'm sorry. No, did, uh, did you say dragon steak? Oh, yes. It's one of my most popular items here. Can I give me one of those? Oh, absolutely. Um, he gets you a massive hunk of steak, um, <laughs> puts it on like a, a tray and like, like wooden tray and hands it to you. And it's gonna be two silver for that. Amazing, and I just gladly. Enjoy. I just like run back over, <laughs> like when gaming is back. <laughs> I'll do what I'm gonna do. At this point, I'm like, don't we all, buddy? <laughs> there is there is definitely a booth with a whole bunch of fruits, an assortment of different melons there, um, apples, grapes, strawberries, all the fruits you can think of. Mm-hmm. It is just a. This is one of like the most colorful like tents, with just the assortment of fruits alone. It's just a rainbow of colors. I'm a rainbow of colors. Looks amazing. <laughs> First and foremost, happy holidays. Uh, you see a half elf turn around wearing like simple clothing. Oh well, happy last departure to you. Um, what can I offer you? We have a lot of uh, different fruits from way beyond and some local. Uh, a lot of this is from Mahaloth, so there's fresh as can be. Yes. Ooh. Um. <laughs> Do you guys do like a bundle, like a big fruit bowl? Some sort of fruit salad? Oh, sure, we could do something like that, yeah. Ooh, I would love that. Do you just want me to put up an assortment of things for you, or is there anything specific oh, you want in there? Um, hmm. I was trying to get like one of everything. All right. Um, so he grabs like a, a basket and then starts just like putting one of each fruit in there and then hands it to you. Um, that'll be, let's see, for all of that and... Well, for, uh, we'll call it five silver, yeah? <laughs> oh. Oof. Yeah. Well, it's one of those days. Hey, we got money to yeah. spend. Spend it, bitch. Five silver. Yeah. Well, it all looks amazing. Well, thank you, thank you. You have a wonderful day. Can you day. Just official? Yeah, see you as well. Right, so I make my way back. Mm-hmm. Hell yeah. Delicious. Oh. Mm. Juiciest, most delicious fruit you ever had. Dara, what are you doing? 
I just want the largest, ju- juiciest apple I can find. It's easy. <laughs> That's it. It's okay, one yeah. copper for an apple. You go, to like, you go to like the same booth and you see Mirage is like loading up on fruit and you're just like, <laughs> apple. One. <laughs> apple. They give you a nice like apple. deep red apple, which is like almost as big as your hand. Like it's, <laughs> it's big. <laughs> no. One. <laughs> I'm just rushing my drive. One bite. <laughs> back together. You had the right call. Yeah. What'd you, what'd you like something? No, I got it. Good fucking apple. apple. <laughs> <laughs> it's you just to switch it up. No, I'm good. Then. And oh my I'm smart. Oh my God's Ornin. What, what the fuck is that? It's, it's a, a sh- fucking. It's a fucking dragon steak. A. Uh, what? Uh, dragon. It's, dra- it's a oh. dragon steak. Can I? Who the fuck do killed want- a dragon and said, "Can I cook it?" Goliath I- did. They're fucking crazy. <laughs> yeah, I know that. Makes Those sense. guys are fucking insane. Yeah. <laughs> Those are fucking crazy. Oh, they're they're fucking they're crazy. They're they're fucking crazy. Oh my god. Yes. You see Ambrose no. come over. <laughs> <laughs> I am just covered in ice. Just- by the way. Just, Ambrose sits down with a Ooh. what looks to be like a bowl of fried rice with like vegetables in it, and there's like shrimp mm. over it. Oh, oh fried rice? Mm-hmm. Who the fuck makes I fried love rice? This departure day. That one over there. You see, it's like Sick. I'm going it's, for lunch. it's like a lizard folk who's just like making like this exotic cuisine, <laughs> which is fried rice with shrimp over it. Shrimp fried rice. Shrimp fried that much. Shrimp fried that Fuck. You told me this beef was stroking off. <laughs> oh. Beef would never do such a thing. <laughs> no, no. <laughs> oh. oh, my. No, 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 no. Wait, 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 wait. I, just, I want to go home. <laughs> oh, my God. Okay. All right, so you guys all enjoy your scrumptious uh, breakfast. This is gonna make my tummy upset later. <laughs> you want some coffee? Every, every <laughs> once in a while, you'll see a high driver just <laughs> overhead. Um, and then That's as you guys kind of like gaze off towards where like the docks or the port is, um, you see a bunch of smaller high drivers with people on it who are all trying to make their way up to the underwist, but it is, it seems like they're having a hard time controlling all these high drivers who are going like all around. Uh, every once in a while, like the uh, two different high drivers will like collide into each other and start like play fighting before separating. Um, and then as they like reach the underwist, you see uh, one person and like hanging off one of the high drivers and uh, the high driver is having a hard time of like trying to like stay in the air and all of a sudden he just like falls and he's falling and falling you hear people go whoa and then like 30 feet before he like hits the ground he just and like gently touches the ground and you hear a whole bunch of people, yeah, a whole, whole bunch of people start oh, clapping. Oh, the sweet roll in my mouth. Here we go. Uh, some people are like walking by and like, I, I can't believe they're still doing that. That's crazy. Those things are not even, they're juveniles. Shouldn't be flying them. Stupid idiots. They okay, better not run out of that steak by the other day. Mm. Hmm. I swear to every god in the sky. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So, you guys finish up your scrumptious breakfast. Mm. The rest of the day is yours. The festival is lively. People are going about having a good time. What would you guys like to do? There are lots of different events. Um, here, I will actually do this. All right, so there are four different events that you guys can participate in. You have the costume contest, which is held at the pavilion. You have the team tournament. 
which is basically a three versus three, um, like team skirmish. Um, you have the big catch, uh, which is what the the guy was saying last night. The inn, where you ride on juvenile high drivers to catch some of the biggest fish in the underwisp. Um, and then you have connection, which is a puzzle game that a half elf has created. The other things you can do is you can go to the one one of the temples that have been reserved for the um, devout followers of the architect. Um, and then, oh, that's not till later. Okay, so yeah, those are the things that are currently going on that are specific to the last departure festival. Hmm. <clears throat> Fishing sounds thrilling. The three v three sounds very fun. Yeah, that's kind of something. Do you want to do it? I was also thinking about the pause. The pause, pause. But the three v three sounds fun. <laughs> Would you do it with me? Yes. Absolutely. I'll stand there on the outside and heal you guys afterwards. <laughs> As if they'll be able to touch us. Untouchable. Right. I mean, look at us. You're just. <laughs> I'm like, I'm like, I'm just like, yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> wow, dynamic duo. He said that, not that us. You want in on this, Ambrose? You don't want to go with them? I <laughs> think there's something I kind of need to take care of. Something, something that's been kind of. I'll rush you across the table. Just all right. Yeah, I'll go with you guys. Sorry, I'm okay. Um, you know, since I'm not dancing around anything, it's, you know, I looked up at the mother serpent and she kind of looked away from me as if I'm. She didn't Can't look away from you. She, she is not looking, looking, not at looking at the at town me. anymore. I'm not looking at the town anymore. She, where was she looking? Some sort of abandonment. Just somewhere off. It's very easy to see looking up. Her gaze is fixed on the rift. Oh, yep. she wants yeah. to know too. She wants to know too. Bitch. That's why it feels cold. Like there's a sense of abandonment because she watches over the town. Her eyes are always fixed over Sky Xanis. But today it's not. That's where I was going with that. I was yeah, like, it's a sense of betrayal that they're praising something else other than her. And she's been the one protecting the town this entire time. And yet, yeah, under her like, watch, wondering. they're celebrating a different deity. Yeah, some of them are like, yay, Mother Serpent. But yeah, I'm wondering if it's like a... Because everybody's like, oh, I wonder if the architect's going to come back. And so I bet even she's like, I wonder... Because she is an will. ancient creator or ancient creation of yeah. the gods. So she's wondering if the actual creator of her makers are going to come back. Oh my god, I got, I got some fucking words! I have a lot of pen to me. I got some personal beef with that guy. Really? Give him to me. So you're going to like look into that, I guess? Is that what you're taking care of? You know what? Um, I mean, I'll you worry got... about that later. No, if you, you got something, if you got something to do, go do it. I just don't... want to exactly know what to do at this time. Yeah. Well, I don't I mean... know if... All sorts of stuff. I mean, did you guys ever do anything in the swamp for the Potter day? Um, pause. Love her. That's if we do anything. Oh, uh, okay. Just got rid of Potter. Huh. He's getting hot and you're so hot, so stay up on your clothes. Or her recurring swamp. Uh, what did we do in the swamp? 
That's up to you. Okay. However, region wide in Glattonboro, celebrations were very minimal. Even during the last departure, um, people were usually too afraid to do anything as to disturb the barmen. So, whatever celebration it would be, is it would be personal. Okay. Even in the swamp, because I always envisioned the swamp would be a, its own like a tiny little community. It's kind of like a homey. Oh, yeah, I could I could definitely yeah. see that. So, whatever you think they might do. Yeah. Okay. Again, it's a day of either like worship, celebration, um, just it just all depends on yeah. like the region or place. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Well, let's say back at the swamp. We pretty much had a lot of similar things going on here. It was a very kind of small, tightly knit community where everyone's kids knew each other. You know, Sasha would always play carnival games and there'd be lanterns <laughs> set up everywhere. And you get lanterns high and low because all of our homes were built on trees and around trees, all you know, connected by bridges. That sounds cool as fuck. You know, the okay. name Swamp, the name Swamp kind of gives it an unappealing kind of vibe, but it also kind of, it kind of conceals. It, I was going to say it really hides the, the cool shit yeah. that's going on. Sick. It's really cozy. Hmm. You know, unperturbed by tourism, thankfully. I wish I had a house that's really cool. Um, but, yeah, I guess I'll see what happens later on in the day with Mother Serpent and the Rift. But for now, come on, let's have some fun. Sorry to hold you all back. Oh. <laughs> no. Today is happy day. It is mm. happy day. No, nothing is being held back. We're having conversation. We're... You know, we're chatting, having fun. We're having food that's to die for. Do I still have, I got, I thought oh, I got most of it going up. Yes. Thank you so much. Yes, Thanks. you do. Thanks. Okay. Thank you. you have to look your best for the 3v3. I do. Are my lips just like blood red from the strawberry juice? <laughs> yeah. 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 Nice and kissable. <laughs> Gives me chill mummy. <laughs> Fetch my celebratory clean diaper. <laughs> what? It's a game sure. drums quote. Cool. I didn't remember that one. Yeah. Just saying a lot because there's a lot out. of them. You're missing out, man. That was a good one. So, uh, do we want to go sign up for the, the thing? Uh, yes. 3v3, wait. Okay. What kind of what kind of fighting thing is it? Oh, I'm not more. 100% sure, but uh, this is fun. Okay. Right, so there's four of us entering and... Well, well he's I thought, not. I can yeah. back out if you want to join. You look like shit. No offense. Yeah, I probably shouldn't do it anyways. Yeah, yeah sit yeah, back was... and watch the, the strong boy is fucked up. And, gonna... the, and the pretty lady. I was gonna say, all that blue, like... You're working on your Macau cosplay. Jeez. Because <laughs> the bruises! I'll wank at him. I got, <laughs> I, got, I got bit by a rattlesnake. <laughs> um... <laughs> Do you really start into a sound like a You uh, want to get that checked out? Rattles are venomous. We got it. Highly so. Yeah, no, we got it. He's okay. I'm yeah, I, three I, days till you're taking care of it. Yeah. Oh, so it's not the venom. Hey, Raj, uh, 3v3, let's go. Yeah, yeah. Let's go sign up. Yeah. Hmm. What? Let's go sign up. Yeah, sign up. Yep. Yep. Yeah. Yep. Game on. Yep, let's go. Okay, so we are going. <laughs> Jesus Christ, guys, to play. God damn! <laughs> you guys make your way over to the team tournament event. So, um, this place is near the center of Sky Xanus, uh, where the tournament is being held. You see a half elf female knight with fair skin and long, straight, raven black hair. Uh, she has a cute yet or she has cute yet small facial features and thin blue eyes. She wears fitted plate armor with a like long cloth hanging from her waist the cloth has a symbol a symbol of a flaming spear uh you hear two teams in the middle of a skirmish inside a makeshift arena as you approach she turns to you and smiles and like tilts her head 
Oh, you think what I have it to... You th- Ooh. <laughs> you think you have what it takes to survive? We're holding a three-on-three competition to see who has the strongest team. You'll need to have at least one magic user and two martial classes. Oh, and yeah. don't worry, we do a few healers from the Valenheim Healing Temple, so don't feel the need to hold back, okay? You want yes. it? Yes! 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 Wonderful. It is five silver to join. Amazing. Period. For all three? Mm-hmm. Or per person? Team. For the team. Oh my goodness. I can pay for it, I have money! Oh. Oh, you know congratulations. What? I'll buy you another sweet treat tonight for that. Yes. Uh, five? Yes. Five silver. <laughs> Straight to my cow's heart, buy him sweets. Yep. <laughs> He's got a sweet tooth. I've noticed for some reason that it's something that I give to every single one of my D&D characters. They always have a sweet tooth and I don't oh, know yeah. why. I believe I did have a sweet tooth. Yep. 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 Halcyon does as well. Okay, so. So does Pitch. As... The, uh, or as you guys sign up, the um, skirmish is continuing on. Um, so you guys, the the knight kind of like sets you off to the side in like a designated area where they're holding different teams. Um, beside you, you see another team of three. You see a tall blonde female human in uh, like an arcane user mage garb. Um, you see another, like, tall, lanky male human who's wearing, um, like, half-plate armor. And then oh, beside them, bitch. you see a half-elf uh, with, like, blonde and black, really curly hair, tan skin. Um, like split dye? Mm-hmm. Yeah, bitch. Uh, she is not wearing any armor. Um, but she has like simple, almost like monkish clothing on. Um, and she comes around and like standing beside them, uh, she like looks over to you with her arms crossed and just. <laughs> promise. Promise. Oh, yes. Yeah. Oh, I promise. You're my target. And then you see the uh, the tall human fighter like turn over and goes. Hey, 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 come on, Nightwalker. Sorry, she... Nightwalker, oh my god. She and likes I just to, see... She likes to point out her targets, so, uh... And she just... I just am, like, looking at my cow, and I just... <laughs> <laughs> Going from looking at my cow, I just, like, look over at the fighter and just go... <laughs> um, let's all do our best, yeah? We're not gonna, yeah. we're not gonna hold back. Oh, no, of course oh, not. Neither. He just like <laughs> looks over. Oh, you guys are gauntlets uh, on. Don't to you? the the female wearing the wizard garb, and she goes, or he goes, uh, stand behind me, honey. Okay, yeah. And she just looks at him. I don't think we're gonna have a tough time. And she just like winks to all of you. What? <sighs> oh, oh you can't. No, you can't be oh, doing that. No, <laughs> I cannot be sidetracked by. Chase hey, explosion. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's really bad. No, eyes on me. This isn't you. This is you and me right now. So you hear a bell, the- bing, 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 bing. <laughs> and We're you would see walking out of the makeshift arena is a muscular looking dwarf holding like two hand axes. Oh, I um, you see a ferocious white lion folk. And then you see a water genasi as well walk out. Ooh. Okay. Can't the first that. round's champions. Next team, and they usher you and the um, other team next to you into the arena. Do they have like a like a board where they put like team names? this team won or like this group of people won? Mm-hmm. <gasps> who who are the people that lost and who are the people that won? <laughs> okay. Um, the team that won are called the Berserkers. Okay. Yeah! Yeah! Um, the team yeah. that lost were called the Mountains. Mountains. Mm-hmm. Mountains. And you see and the, the, the people who are Sika. the people who are healed and like uh, taken or ushered off the arena. Okay. Um, there was an orc, a goliath, and then uh, you see a... Oh my gosh, I Remember, forgot my own creation's name. Store, balance, and then you have your fucking, you get your bubble. 
Remember. Stoneforged. Oh, yeah. Remember, yes. like, remember, 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 remember. Yeah. Follow. Oh, Stoneforged. Oh, I got, I got. You got your stone. Yeah. So, um, before you, like, walk in, the, the knight, like, grabs on you. He just goes, um, forgot to ask team name. Would you like one? Rift Seekers? Rift Seekers? Rift Seekers? Rift Seekers. Yeah, let's get their name out there. Yeah, we yeah. are the Rift Seekers. Wonderful, we'll put that on the board. Oh, that's kind of epic for um, the day that it is. Yeah. You okay. guys <gasps> are going against the, um, roommates. <laughs> <laughs> the roommate and the Okay, wow. Well, what a name. So, you guys both enter in the arena. You see the three of them um, getting ready to fight. The only one that looks intimidating would be the one they called Nightwalker, the monk looking half elf, who is just like already like crouched down in like a fighting position and is just ready to take that first step to rush you. I am standing normally, like super casually, like I'm bored as fuck. And I'm just kind of like picking up my teeth with my pinky, with my nail. <laughs> Uh, I'm twiddling with my hand axe. Oh, are we getting ready to start? Um, I have my other my mega glove under my arm while I'm you ready to do this shit. Mm -hmm. You ready? You have no idea how competitive I can get. Both teams are you ready. Going to start off with the bang. <laughs> I'll and I go, shatter it. And I just <laughs> ready and. Bell goes off. Bing! <laughs> okay, so oh, fuck. how this works. Players will fight each um, each team using their preferred modifiers against three other competitors. Each player must make a check of their own chosen modifier equal to uh, 10 plus the other contestant's chosen modifier. So essentially you are playing a game of like tug of war between them. Okay. So you have to succeed the check that they have made and the person who basically has rolled the highest wins. Okay. Um, each player must continue rolling until one fails. The player who succeeds continues fighting and may choose to aid another player by giving them a plus two to their roll. The fight ends once one team falls. Okay. Okay. I think I understand. Kinda. Uh, I'll just attack and I'll wait for a bell. Period. Yeah. Uh, like right as they're starting to prep for the fight before the bell goes off for like the, the fight, I want to find where... Uh, Dara and Ambrose are. Yep. And I want to look at Dara and give him like a. <laughs> like, like I'm like yeah, brother. And then I look over at Ambrose. <laughs> and then I saw another. <laughs> Ambrose just buries his hand in his head. Yeah. And then yeah. just kind of look at you. I'm like. He's hey. not subtle. Ambrose looks up, bright red cheeks. <laughs> <sighs> it's okay, I just buddy. look at you and I'm like. I won't say shit. It was. A I, I don't need any information. <laughs> I don't care. Okay. Have your best fucking life. <laughs> so, um, all right. So all of you need to make a, a check of your own chosen modifier. So, um, okay, just a chosen modifier. Mm -hmm. I'll well have you know. To quote. To quote Devin, the words water genasi are a slap in the face. Yeah. <laughs> a slap in the face. And you've been just tossed around half elf. I said, oh. You said it and I went, oh. So I chose my old decks of Just the regular modifier. Just like a, like a skill check, basically. Or not a skill check, an ability check almost. Yeah, so okay. you're making an, um, an ability check. Ability check, but you're only using your either like deck strength charisma modifier. Can you change okay. it each time? Or um, you, you can if you want to. Okay. Uh, essentially, you're going up against um, their chosen modifier. So essentially, like um, you have to beat the DC of okay. like if you're using dex, um, you have to succeed 10 plus whatever your dexterity modifier is. Okay. If that makes sense. So I have to. If, what is so your if dex my modifier? dex modifier is four, then I have to beat a 14. Yes. Okay. In order to beat their shit. Yes. So it's a 50% chance. Okay. And I'm going against a monk? Well, you can go up against whoever you want to, but as soon as the bell rings, the monk charges you. I'm, a I'm going for the wizard. 
I'm a little uh. distracted. <laughs> hey! Uh-oh. You gotta take down the caster first, right? I am. I, so I, I'm not a little distracted. I am so significantly distracted that when I do the little thing at Ambrose, I do not hear the bell. And I just get yeah, across the fucking Bing, thing. and then like a flash step, and the monk yeah. is already just like On my shit. And then just yeah. punches you right across the face. What yeah. was what was your, did you fail? Okay, yeah. Yes, I did. She definitely succeeds and punches you, and you are, you are out. <gasps> You get hit and you're out. I literally am like, yeah, I got this. <laughs> okay, the, the monk immediately knocks out Macau and then turns to the rest of you. Okay, so who's going next? You have the the rest of the three teammates to fight. I'm going to go get some wizard. Okay. I'm going to do strength. You got this. Explode him. It's despicable, I love it. <gasps> I rolled a 17 on the die and my Okay, you definitely succeed. So the wizard starts like um, throwing like fire bolts and you just foof, 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 and you are dodging all of them. Um, you are able to get up close to her. Which is all I need. Mm -hmm. um, but you go ahead and swing and she is like able to dodge out of the way and she's backing up. Um, oh, it's ro it's rollies, isn't it? Essentially. Um, okay. Um, as that's happening, the knight is going to try to attack you. Does not succeed, so he fails that one. Do so I who roll? are you going against? Yeah. I'm gonna keep going against the wizard. Okay. Thirteen. Thirteen? That does that succeed? Is that what are you using for your modifier? I'm using my strength, which is a four. Which is a four. four. Okay. So you just failed. She succeeds. So um, you as you start swing, 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 um, the wizard like backs up um, before you see her like like a massive ball of fire before she just <laughs> directly hits you in the chest and you just go <laughs> smoke rising from you. Ornan is knocked out. Roger. You said we were able to aid or? If you knocked out another... <laughs> you got this, Mirage. Mirage, it's all on you. Come on, this. Come on, baby girl. Come on, girl. Come on, baby girl. Finish off their, finish off their caster. Mm -hmm. You, you mean, gotta yeah. kill all of them. I mean, get all you of them. You to win. Yeah. And now all the room. Just, you know, gonna... just fuck, fuck someone up. I don't know. Pick, just pick a friend. All right, I will I'll fuck up the caster because that was a big fireball. I'll use Constitution. Okay. Hey, no, hey, hey. Step. You, have to, <laughs> you have to roll above it. Oh, wait. Is I that messed, how it works? I messed up the rules. Oh. It's the other contestant's modifier, uh. and it's a plus two, so you had to succeed a 12. Did you? I did. Okay. No, I did not. Okay, I'm so not. you are out. I'm out. You're not. Ornan, you succeeded. Yes! Okay. You are still in. Um, <gasps> okay, so. <gasps> she, like, wields this massive fireball and goes to throw it at you, but you are able to dodge out of the way. So you're still in the fight. Mirage, what are you doing? Okay. Okay. Yeah. Just finish off. So you have to choose the modifier and tell me that number. Okay. So I will choose constitution. Okay, so what's the number? Give us a number. What, after I roll? No, no, no tell me the number, because I oh, have to roll your against modifier it. modifier plus 10. Uh, mod, okay. pl mod plus 10, so 14. Okay. Fails. So that monk's trying to hit you, fails. She does not hit you. Cool. So, so then what does, what does he have to roll? You have to roll above a 12. Okay. With whatever modifier you choose. Okay. Oh, okay. Yeah. This makes significantly more yes, sense. Yes, I messed up. I was reading over my own rules. And I'm like, okay. it made sense when I wrote it. And then when I'm saying it out loud, I'm like, this doesn't make any sense. I'm rolling with the modifier that I choose. So. Cool, 17. Hell 7, yeah. who are you attacking? Caster, um, right? Yeah, I'll go with the caster. Okay. Um, fail. So whatever you use, what are you doing to attack them? It can be whatever spell. You're not really actually using spells. Like spell slots. So you can do whatever. Hmm. Just for flavor. 
I think I'll just uh, magic missile him. Okay. Yeah, easy, easy enough. Um, the monk tries to hit you, but you dodge out of the way, and as you do, you uh, cast magic missile and just foof, 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 and on it in front of you, just see, bah, 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 and the wizard just goes toppling down. Okay, so Ornan and Mirage are still up. It's a two v two now. The monk. How embarrassing for me. <laughs> monk is gonna go at you again, Mirage. Florida that is a cocked. Oh. Uh, the monk six. Well, what is your? What's your chosen modifier for them to pass? Uh, Constitution, so 14. Okay, that's a plus two for them, so that they succeed. So, um, they're gonna try to hit you. You can roll against them, though. You have to roll above a 12 to like dodge out of the way. No! Uh oh. So the monk, uh, as Mirage casts magic missile, the monk just goes up and just starts. No, Mirage. Triple gonna... hit, Mirage. Goes I know. <laughs> they're just like gleaming in their eyes, and they're just like, fuck them up. They're baby. taunting you. They fuck are up, baby. egging you on. Get them. I'm gonna charge at them. Yeah. All right. Yeah, get them. All right, what's the what's the roll they have to pass? Fourteen. Fail. What do I need to pass? Twelve. That's a cut. Natural twenty. <gasps> yeah. Oh, that was my tenth natural twenty. We'll get so back to you. Uh, How's my tenth? Hey, 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 so, doesn't matter if you lost. You just won. Hey, 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 hey. Where's my where's my <laughs> The monk runs up to you, and as you swing at them, what weapon are you using? My battle axe. Yeah, as you swing at them with the battle axe, they like dodge out of the way and like parry your attack, and you see a fist flying right towards your face. Um, but then all of a sudden, um, like you see two hands kind of like out in front of your face, and just all of a sudden, um, the monk is like spun 90 degrees and their fish goes <gasps> flying in the other direction. They just go, what the hell? And then you, what are you doing to attack them? As they're just like looking at their hands, they're just like, what just happened? Fuck them up. I'm so, gonna fuck them up. Yeah, they just look at you confused, just like, Phew. You don't have to roll. Oh, you you, okay. you, you won doing? that. Oh, fuck. Yeah, just, what so do you what are you to... doing to... What, uh, to you were that? too excited about the yeah. natural 20. <laughs> just kind of spin around with the battle axe, and then I'm going to change it to the hilt, and I'm going to smack him across the fucking face. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, bitch. <laughs> Whoa! You said she, she actually died. I literally went spin around. Boom, 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 boom. All right. And the last person alive is that human fighter who is just standing there. Uh, he seems to be like shaking a bit as he like looks just, down like, at the wizard who is now on the ground and just spinning around like the blades are on the ground. And I just like lean onto it and I'm like, yeah, bitch, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> he passed that one. <laughs> Doesn't matter, whatever you chose, he passed that one. Natural 20 again. <sighs> Both of your weapons collide. <laughs> and he just like looks at you with this like grimace on his face and he just, he looks scared. Is it giving Twilight Princess sword fight with Ganondorf where I, you're just fucking- I've never played it, I don't know. You're holding their, like, your swords up against each other you're like pushing your fucking- Yeah, know, it's, gonna... it's definitely that. Oh, if I could whistle. <laughs> Come on, pretty boy. Okay, he passes the next one. Fuck. 19. Okay, you're both still locked and you were just Fuck. clashing weapons. I can see it playing out in my head and it's hot. <laughs> he passes his next one. I'm sweating. 14. 14 passes, you are still clashing. <laughs> this, is, this is going on for a while as both of them are just shing, 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 bring, bring. All right. Jesus. Natural 20. Jesus. Well, I'm not, I'm not lying. Okay, as you guys are clashing and clashing, <laughs> at one point oh you're able God, to like hit his sword and it goes like flying up as he's still holding it. So he's just wide open. What do you do? That's sick as fuck. I'm just, cause I'm not doing non-lethal damage and I'm just gonna, once again, spin the fucking battle axe. 
hill of the battle axe just up in the jaw. He just ping, <laughs> sword, <laughs> and he collapses to his knees and just. <laughs> <laughs> What a wonderful day! Ape <laughs> together strong! Ape together strong as the rest of your teammates are poof, on the ground. <laughs> the bell rings. Winner of this round, Rift Seekers! Oh. And I just like drop to my knees and just. <laughs> um, you see. Um, a few people run in wearing like white and gold robes. Uh, they come over to all the people who are unconscious and resuscitate them or revive them. And all of you guys come back alive. You are at four hit points. Ooh. Oh, good fight out there. Good fight. Good fight. And I just run to my cow and I just. I fucking did it! I 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 did it! Whoa. You see the, the, the half I just look like, over. I just but I I fucking I did it. You did it. I did it. You did such a good job. Uh, uh, the half elf uh, monk comes over to you, Macau, and just Good work. <clears throat> good shit. Yeah. I'm gonna fight you again sometime. <laughs> okay. Proper fight. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. Okay. I'll we'll be here for again. Again, like tomorrow. Yeah, maybe. And I just look at uh, the fire. She walks off. Today, like, it's a festival. I just go, go away, pretty boy. You talking the night? Uh huh. You talking the night? Mm -hmm. The fire. Yes. That is the night. Oh yeah. Yeah, yeah. He like just like sits up and just like ah. What's your name? Leviticus. And I just... Pleasure fighting you. That was some good shit right there. Pleasure, pleasure, yes. And what's your name? Ornan. Ornan. You are an amazing fighter. Oh, thank you. No, if you excuse me, I have to go make sure my wife's okay. And he like runs oh my, over to the wizard. I just look at him, I'm like, oh my god, I'm so sorry. Yeah, I make my way over to her. Are you all right? No, yes, I'm fine, thank you. <laughs> This is a good fight. Good fight. Good match, yeah. I'm so yeah. sorry, I got excited. What the fuck was his name again? Leviticus. How many Leviticus? Ah, Kale. Kale. Mm -hmm. Pleasure. Kale Galloway. And that man who's running over quite fast. Um, <laughs> that's my husband, Leviticus Galloway. You guys work well together. <laughs> yeah, we try. <laughs> Um, the monk is just kind of just like walking off the battlefield. And what? And the the husband and wife mm. are human. They're both human. Yep. Okay. Slay. That's fun. <sighs> that's so, like the Bible yes. look. Oh they, my god! They both stand up. Um, they kind of just like embrace each other. They look to all you and give you a smile. Thank you for the fight. That was very fun. That was cool as shit. Mm -hmm. Even, I mean, I'm sure it was. <laughs> yeah. We'll work on it. You'll, you'll have a better chance in the next round, yeah? I was the, the next round, there's more. We fucking well, won! Yeah. And she lo you look over to the, to the, the board mm -hmm. and it says, like, Rift Seekers versus Berserkers. I misunderstood before. <laughs> I am less down in the dumps now. <laughs> Thank you for this gift. We'll watch you from the sidelines. We'll cheer you on. Thank you. Good luck out there, guys. Oh my god, guys, we're gathering the fan base. And they... <laughs> Let's go! I wish I could have been conscious to see you. Yeah, they walk same. off the uh, battlefield, and then um, the crowd cheers once more, and the team that walked off walks back on, and they take their place um, opposite of you guys. And who are these people again? They are the, the, the dwarf, the lion folk, and the water genasi. Slay. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Next <laughs> round, Rift Seekers versus the Berserkers. Both teams ready? Yep. I don't look at Ambrose this time. I'm just sitting there stretching. I'm like, you hear from the sidelines, bite him, rattlesnake. <laughs> I, you did not. I look at. I, so hey. do I have to like manually tune yeah. to the Vesiculum or- It's already attuned to you. Okay, yeah. cool. 
Yeah. And I like okay. grab your shoulder. Win it. You got it. <sighs> Ready and begin. Bing. I'm going um, after the water genetic because <laughs> Jamie has personal <laughs> Instead of all of them like rushing towards you, the lion folk like hunches down and then on all fours runs in a massive circle to start flanking you. I the water genasi like jumps behind the dwarf and the dwarf just stands his guard. I see the line and I flip around. I'm gonna start doing the same thing. I'm gonna be like, oh that's how it is. That's how it's, so, it's so much less like like a gallop. I literally but turn around and I like move in front of you. It's just I have so you said that there is a guy standing behind another mm-hmm. one. Yeah, that's the, so, the water gymnastics standing behind the door. Because you said that uh, for the guardian hand, it's when I use my uh, sorcery uh, meta magic. Yeah, my meta magic. Oh, so I want to Devin. slowly walk forward and, oh. without saying anything, you shatter to hit the guy behind. Oh, him shatter, baby. Yeah, and then have the ha- other hand come out and push the other guy aside. <laughs> All for okay. cinematic purposes. Yeah, so let's the, fucking the go. slow walk as I'm casting shit without saying anything. All right. So, do you want the hand to push the dwarf out of the way? Yeah. Just no. Like, <laughs> okay. So Just yeah. Bling his ass. You're walking no. forward. Oh, the dwarf standing his guard. He like twists his axe in his hand, and he just like looks at you and just like, ah, come on, pretty lady. And then all of a sudden, this <laughs> you oh, use. Use Guardian's hand and it just rips out of the shard of the vesiculum and just poof, and immediately like um, stops right beside the dwarf and he just like what the before it just poof, <laughs> and he just gets pushed or shoved like ten feet and just poof, poof, he goes tumbling over and the hand just. <laughs> Disappears. Hell yes. <laughs> the oh, Genasi yeah. just wide eyes, yeah. just. What the fuck? Still, get her! Still slow walking forward. Get him! God damn it. Get him! Yeah, it's. Foosh, 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 starts casting shit at you. Okay, so. I so badly. I have an idea. Okay. I have an idea. If you can set to be the springboard for a second. Rule of cool, okay. absolutely. Rule so of they, cool! They beat your modifier check, so. They're gonna they're casting stuff at you. What are you doing? Rebuttal. <laughs> Rebuttal. Go. Counterpoint. Your mom. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Shield. You're not using oh. a spell. You're you're, you're making. It's yeah. Oh, right. Yeah. Yeah. I wanna. You have to beat a thirteen. Gotta beat a thirteen. With whatever modifier you choose. Probably your con again. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Please come on. Again. That was so fucking cool. Don't please. Be fucking ten. No! You s- continue Damn walking it. forward, and it's almost like this dark aura is around you as you're trying to be intimidating, but the Janasi is locked in and starts flinging spells at you, and it's just. Poof, poof, poof. Ah, fuck. You're like, I can take it, I cannot. <laughs> there you go. God damn it. <laughs> so cool. Got your ass. Next. Get him, Macau. Right, Before so. she fully falls from getting hit, I want to be like <laughs> behind her, launch myself like a cat, grab her shoulders, and throw myself over her, and just full like full send superhero fucking. Pot. I want to beat the fuck yeah. out of the gymnastics. Right. <laughs> Make an attack. What, what am what I? Is what the do I have to, they have to against yours. It's the one I'm choosing. Yes. Uh, it's fourteen. They fail. Okay, cool. I'm a Come on. Uh, what do I have to beat? 13. That oh. was almost a fucking 18. Uh oh. What was it? You got a. Well, no, you fail. No, it's 14. It's plus 10. Oh. Plus 10? No, oh, wait, that's oh. this. Ah, no. So you fling yourself over Mirage, but the Janasi like sees you coming and is able to like roll out of the way. So both of you are in a standoff. Um, Ornan, what are you doing? This Leonin is like flanking you. And as he gets behind you, he like stands up and like extends his claws. And just is going to attack you. So what are you I was doing? like, I see him flinging, whip around, so I'm like watching him charge at me, and I'm like, ooh, kitty's got claws. Time to declaw! <laughs> Alright, what are you doing? Can't have you rip my furniture. So 14. He definitely passes. Please. Please. 
you and him charge at each other, and as you swing his your axe at him, he just brings his arm up and it like collides into his arm, but he uses it as like a shield and like sacrifices it to like swing the axe away, and then with his claws just pierces you into like your chest, lifts you up like freaking predator, and just looks at you and just growls before just letting you fall to the ground. All right. <laughs> the Janassi and you are staring each other down. The dwarf oh. is getting back up. What <laughs> the dwarf is getting back up. I thought he was out. <laughs> no. No, Mirage just did a flavor thing. Okay, quick question. Just, just out of pure curiosity, not mm-hmm. that I think this roll is going to go poorly or anything. How does the inspiration die work again? You can use it as you time to re-roll. Just like That's once per long once rest. Per long once rest. Per long. Oh, wonderful! Um, <laughs> I would like to do several feints, several feints of like, oh, I'm gonna hit you, I'm gonna hit you. I'm like getting, I'm intentionally missing to try Hell and yeah. get him like off kilter. Mm. And then I want to do one big swing, but go down while I do it so that I'm like on my feet and I want to kick him with both of my feet. I'm okay. on my hands and I'm like, butt like a donkey kick, but sideways. Absolutely. Go ahead and roll for it. What are you? Roll. Okay. Inspiration die. I, I want to do something cool. Okay. I just, did he, did he fail? He, he failed. So you're doing a lot of feints, but as you go and try to actually hit him, it just doesn't collide. Wait, wait. You can go again. Yes. Okay. Fifteen. Yes. The dwarf comes up behind you, and he's going to start swinging his axes, and the Janasi is starting to cast spells. But you are dodging out of the way. You are parrying blows. Um, you turn to the Janasi. What are you doing? Um. So, so what is the dwarf doing? Swinging at you with his axes. Okay, cool. He has two like hand axes and he's just So as he's doing that, I will kind of I'm so I'm partially sideways, so mm. I like see him. So I'm kinda of, like getting out of both. I'm trying I'm yeah. like, fuck you, fuck your spells, and I'm dodging <laughs> while I'm like parrying the fuck out of this dude's axes. This can bother me. <laughs> I will not be useful for the rest of the session if I start thinking about discombobulate. <laughs> Alright, so what are you doing? <laughs> Perry was signed jab. Discombobulate. God damn. Throw dirt in his face. Discombobulate. <laughs> Jimmy! Get me together! This is one of my favorite things on the planet. <laughs> Fucking funny. You, you've oh. seen the one where it's like discombobulating after t- every move. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That's what I'm thinking about. Counter jab. Discombobulating. <laughs> that is one of my. It favorites. gets funnier every time. Uh, I had to turn it off and go outside because I couldn't breathe. <laughs> the first time I watched it. Hell yeah. Okay. Anyway, um, so I paired the fuck out of it, mm. and then I want to uh, turn and grab the Janasi by like by his torso. And flip him around sideways at the dwarf and use him as a meat shield. <laughs> against what the, fuck? the dwarf. Yeah, the dwarf starts like is still swing his axes, and you're able to catch the Janasi off guard. You throw him <laughs> over, and just both axes come barreling down right into his back, and just slams the Janasi on the ground. And he just goes, "Fuck!" And he just I didn't know friendly him. fire was a thing. Um, the Leonin, after taking out Orin, and like Orin, you should see him poof, drop to the ground, just... Am I out? Yeah. yeah. I just... have always been more of a cat guy. <laughs> <laughs> so the dwarf is right in front of you, but the Leonin is charging you. Okay, I want to fucking... You're out as well. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Macau, 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 Macau. 19. Hard carry. What's the DC that he has to beat? 14. He passes. So... You guys start exchanging blows. This Leonin is now gonna start helping him. So he's got a plus two. It's a roll. Yes. The dwarf and the Leonin are both fighting you, but the dwarf slips up. What are you doing? He failed. 
Um, I want to uh, give him a couple good, quick Sonic the Hedgehog boom, 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 in the chest so that he's discombobulated. And then <laughs> I want to uh, flip him around backwards and then turn like I'm preparing to like go like mm-hmm. ready for myself for the Leonin and I want to wrap my tail around his neck and throw him. The dwarf? Yeah. Okay, yeah. And like as I turn, it's just and he goes flying. Yeah, absolutely. Dwarf goes flying and like hits the Leonin and like sends him back. Um, oh. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, dwarf like hits the ground and is just unconscious, and the only Leonin just looks at him and just. I want to get down on all fours and start walking in a circle. <laughs> you dare mock me? No, this is my brand, buddy. I've been doing it for a while. <laughs> it's my thing. And he gets down on all fours and starts like woof. <laughs> <laughs> you see the, the hair on the back of his spine just <laughs> I don't know <laughs> you know, he does the same <laughs> I don't want to he wanna does the sideways cat like <laughs> <laughs> this is the best thing ever I want to get his ass so good <laughs> come on oh no what is it it's a t- it's a t- in total? Yeah. Fuck. Did he fail though? It's a 14. No! <laughs> he jumps I got fucked o- by sideways He cat. jumps over Wait, to you. It's pretty tonight. Please! <gasps> please! Use it! Please! Please! For once. For once, man. For once. Do it. Are you sure you don't want to save it for later? Come on. It's <laughs> fucking <laughs> Come on, come on. We all gotta, we all gotta whisper to it. Okay. Okay. Please let this be cool. <laughs> for once, you're my special you inspiration. You, 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 you worked so well for me. Come on, you you so me. Me. Come, on. Yes. come on, come on. Come on. Yes. Ah. That's a one. No, hey, no. Stop. You're not gonna be a one. You're gonna be a nat twenty or, or just only a little bit. Below nat twenty that. or you're higher. Or higher. That's so good. That's so good. That's so good. So good. You have to hold through this. Man. It's a 15. That passes. Both of you guys like hop over to each other and then start exchanging blows. He's okay. swiping his claws at you with, with lion folk ser- ferocity. All right, go again. Okay. Go for something new. 19. 21, but you guys still both are exchanging <gasps> blows. Change scores for something new. Never shoots. What is it? What's it gonna be? He failed too. There's one. <laughs> All right. So you both failed. both of you guys slipped up, but none of you can attack each other. Oh my god! At this point, he kind of like takes a step back and just starts like pacing, or like circling you. Oh, are you pussying out? How dare you say that? <laughs> I will slit your throat open and drink your blood. Bring it on, hairball! <laughs> Eighteen. Five. Yeah! What a wonderful day! What a wonderful day! Yeah! I fucked all of them up! Okay. How do you want to do How do you this? think I felt? I want to. Almost as if I, I find some sort of, I, I remember that my leg is a little bit nicer from the last time I fucked with it. Like, because we fucked with it, it got a little like looser, felt a little bit lighter and, and with learning feather fall and everything, I'm feeling a little light. And so almost as if I'm casting blink, I want to just boom, 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 around him and just like, boom, boom, like flash. But flash, but flash, just a, but just a bunch of fucking times. I'm just, I'm just bringing this man to death. And then uh, on the last one, I want to like stop in front of him. And if he's like kind of like days, like oh fuck, like oh my god, I just want to <laughs> right in the face.
I just start punching the ground. <laughs> ref, Seekers, Ref. Champion Seekers, of the ref. tournaments. <gasps> ref Seekers. <laughs> <sighs> <sighs> Oh my god! Yeah, <laughs> <gasps> <gasps> I look over there, bros. I look at Dara. <laughs> you just. <sighs> oh. Do the little like boxer hop where it's like, fuck yeah. Okay. And then I, I go and I grab my friends. <laughs> Like, let's go. The Valenheim uh, healing temple people all come out and heal you guys back to full health. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, jeez. Did you, did you do did it? Did you do it? Did you do it? I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Yeah! I know that That's my cow. That's my cow, baby. Come on. Oh, yeah. I joined him, too. <laughs> yeah! <laughs> oh, my God. I haven't done that in years. Uh, did, you, did you take on all three? You bet I did. Oh my god. Oh, it feels so good. Oh, I haven't done that in such a long time. Oh! I still got it, motherfucker! Yes! Yes! Uh. I wonder if it's my turn to pop off next round. Is that the next round? Nope, that was it. That was it. We are guys won. Thank goodness. I. was running out of ideas. The pinky's a little small. <laughs> no, yeah. I feel you. My finger, I did a lot of like. Hmm? Yeah. What? We're no, just no, thinking. Like... What did yeah. I do? I, thought, what I, I accidentally punched the fuck out of the table and I have met God. <laughs> <laughs> Look at my pinky. Was it a good God? <laughs> ah, Why would you do such a thing? I didn't mean to. It was an accident. Super fun. All right. So, um, you guys are kind of like held at the center of the arena and the knight again <laughs> announces you as winners. And then um, she brings out neatly folded cloaks and then like pins them around you. Immediately all three cloaks start like billowing out. So all three of you guys won cloak of billowing. Yeah. <laughs> Let's go. All right. I saw a homebrew item that was its cloak of billowing, and the eyes crossed out. This is cloak of bellowing, and it just growls. <laughs> <laughs> when you want to intimidate, you just flap it, and it's like. Whoa! <laughs> All I can think of is the scene from Scooby Doo, the live action one, in Scooby Doo yes. Two. We're in the bushes, and Shaggy's like, he's like, they're in the bushes. They're talking through like the cans with the string attached yeah. to it, and Shaggy says something, and Scooby goes. <laughs> That's the cloak. Damn the bushes healing at me again. All right, so with you guys announced as the winners of the tournament, that's where we'll go ahead and leave this session. No! And so, the Rift Seekers successfully delivered the energy tank to Straz Yank and receive their rewards for completing the mission. They returned to Skyxanus just in time for the last departure festival, in which they took first place in the tournament. Unfortunately, during their time in Ditch, Macau found out that his parents had passed on while he was away. His older sister Mikan had remained in Ditch, dealing with that loss, thinking she was the last member of the family the last living Cheval. Well, that's all I have for you today. If you want more, why not consider joining our Discord? There you can talk to the players of the campaign and be a part of our lovely community. Thank you again for listening, dear friend, and goodbye for now.